Ah, yes. Aha. Champagne. Wine. Etc. Anyone that's dumb? Anyone that's dumb and like sipping juices? Etc. Get out! Get the fuck out of the stream! I don't want you in here anymore. All right, I'm trying to fucking raise the demographic a little bit to people with actual class. So I'm, I'm going to alienate the other demographics that have been here longer in order to, uh, you know, sell out to the one that probably has more money than you. Because if someone can afford wine, naturally they can probably afford a $5 subscription to my channel. So, get out! I better see wine in your hand if you're sticking around. Better be able to prove your fucking net worth value. Arrow, wine arrow real. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 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 This game pretty scary. Uh, I saw it like a couple weeks ago, actually, like on the about to be released thing. And I was like, this looks like a very good looking horror game for a game that has about uh, one person working on it with almost no real credit. Uh, it is fucking good. It's pretty good. I can't say how good it is in a long form thing because I only played like the first half an hour. But what I can say is that um, the half an hour I played had some of the best map design I've ever played in a horror game ever. Uh, actually fucking, like, really impressive shit. And, uh, the one scare that did happen made me feel like I was gonna throw up. So, um, yeah. It's a sophisticated gentleman's horror game. It's one of those really cool kinds of horror games, or at least, more specifically, a really cool kind of exploration map when it is all technically open but the map is designed in such a way that uh you don't see the path you're intended to take until you've taken the next path that the devs want you to take and that sounds weird to describe but the amount of times i've walked past something that i could go down that i didn't see because of how the map is designed and then when I turn around and I'm backtracking because I can't go the way I thought I could go, I see it is like over and over again. There's constantly like another part of the map that's like, oh shit, where, where how, how the hell did that even get there? And like, oh shit, there's a, there's a thing here, but how was I supposed to know? Because the game for, like it made me want to go in a different direction first. It's really cool. The map's like semi open in a way from what I've gathered. It's got, it's got some pretty cool fucking shit. I think this game's going to be pretty good. I, if you can't tell, I'm actually, like, excited to play it. I was, uh... For, for a game that has barely any reviews on Steam, pretty underground, I was, uh... I was very surprised. So... It should be a fun one. If you can handle wine and scares, Chad, but if you can't handle both... Again, get out! Get the fuck out! If you can't handle both, I don't want you here! I don't want any lightweights. This guy on the screen had a half of a cup of wine. And look at him now, bones. Freaking pathetic. That's a great a nitwit right there. Avoid people like this. Avoid them. Don't go near them. I also really like horror games where it's not nighttime. <laughs> You'll see very quickly when we get in. It's like a beautiful, idyllic, like Italian island like wine making island it's actually really fucking pretty and it makes the scary parts a lot scarier <laughs> because you're like wait a minute How this can't be legal you can't make something happen now this place is too nice looking and then something wrong happens 
It's a wine island. It's really good. The visuals. It's very pretty. I have no idea how long it is. People, I saw the devs say it's like six hours long. But, uh, I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'm a gamer. Okay, so, <laughs> as far as that's concerned, it's more like three hours long. Okay, it's more like three hours long or 13 hours long. Add a, t I get, like, you know, leave or take one there. But, um, you know. Dude, some of the gang been uh, playing Monster Hunter GU again. Been playing it at night, couple hunts a night again. Dude, the more I, t the more time I take off of Rise and the more time I play GU again, holy shit, Rise sucks. I, I don't like Rise, I don't think. I think I like, I think I like the concept of Rise and I hate how the devs did all the execution of Rise uh, after like high rank starts like I I think it's like fucking dumpster tier mo monster hunter and like the grand scheme Oh my god, they should have delayed that game a year and a half because it's so depressing how fucking little meaning there is to anything you do in that game Though it's not I don't know if it's fair to compare GU to other monster hunter games Because monster hunter generations ultimate is literally all of the content from all the other games they ever made um, so it's not really fair to compare it, I don't think. But, I can compare something like Monster Hunter Try to Rise and say I still prefer Portable like third as well over Rise, <laughs> which is a PSP fucking game, and I still prefer that. I don't know. I think Rise needed to stay in de like development time more because it's fucking depressing to think about the fact that whenever I look at the upcoming content for Rise, it is a fucking big pile of nothing, which is fine. The old Monster Hunter games didn't have content patches. Remember that. But, well, actually some of them did, but they also took longer to get gear. The grind was more present in those games, which while grind isn't always good, I genuinely think grind in a Monster Hunter game is sort of the fucking point. And I would have minded if Rise had made it more grindy to get armor and like kept it away from rampages. I would have been like fine with that. It's just been on my mind lately because I think they fucking bungled it so bad. I haven't turned on that game in like a m two or three months and I didn't even get like, I killed some of the monsters like once because there's no reason to ever fight them. Portable MH destroyed my right hand. Look chat, all I'm gonna say is if you are having the hunger for Monster Hunter and you have a Switch, buy Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. You have no excuse not to, okay? Like if you're coming off a rise and you're feeling burned, go play GU and you will be like, oh fuck, this is what Monster Hunter's supposed to be. This is like, this is what World started to lose. While World is still really good, um, there's a certain charm in GU that I don't think any Monster Hunter game will ever have again. Cause they're like moving away from the crust of it. But there's like, there's this really fucking good charm in like GU, you know? I don't know, there's things that like people even find annoying, like when you drink in GU, your character stops moving and then flexes. And I love that shit. Let me explain why. Okay, in World and Rise, you don't get a guaranteed amount of healing when the potion gets to your mouth. You have to spend another five seconds still walking around like an idiot before it's actually in your body. In fucking GU, if the potion gets to your mouth and you do the flex, you did it. It's over. You already got the potion in and it instantly fucking filled up your HP. And I think that shit's good because I don't fucking want my shit. I don't want to have to stare at a meter for another fucking five seconds to make sure that I actually got my money's worth out of my potion. I like just instantly having a guaranteed, okay, if I space myself right, I don't go near anything and I time it properly, I am going to get the heal off. Feels like there's more like skill to it. I like it. I like it a lot. 
I'm not going into a big Monster Hunter GU thing, but it was, it was just on my mind because there's a lot of things that like they lost in the old in like the newer games. I know they're not going to bring back like paintballs. I liked paintballs. I'm a sicko. OK, I'm a, I'm a little freak. I like paintballs. I enjoyed hucking paintballs at monsters. Because I thought it was like an interesting extra thing you had to do, because if you didn't, you were like, oh, fuck. <laughs> That Rajang just T-posed into the sky and flew away in a direction I couldn't see. And I didn't paintball him. Also, yeah, there's a certain charm to watching a monkey character monster leap into the sky vertical. And then you watch as the devs T-pose his model and then like click drag him over the heavens because they don't have like a way to transition him to a new zone realistically like they do in like world and stuff. So you just watch there goes my hero. Watch. It's fucking good shit. I love that crap. I fucking love that crap. <laughs> I love that shit. But yeah, consider it a uh, full on recommendation for me. Play GU if you want a Monster Hunter game that's like. It. You know what I mean? Because I don't think Rise is going to be it for me ever. And then if you're missing the mobility, play Greatsword in Valor Stance and shut the fuck up. All right? Bada bing, it's that easy. <laughs> play Greatsword Valor and shut the fuck up. Longsword Valor. Longsword Valor is like actual meta trash. <laughs> I know because I play it. Okay, I'm not getting into build crap, but I will say this. I, as a person who plays that, know that it's meta trash because I've compared my fucking kill speed on them. Okay. That shit broke the fucking game. Yeah, Val no one's out here saying that Valor is balanced. Okay. But then again, most of GU is unbalanced as all, sh like, as it's unbalanced as hell. Okay, and it's mainly the fun you make out of it at that point, right? It's not really like a competition, so they don't really put too much effort into balancing. Some things are just better than others. Like, don't even bother playing like aerial bow. You're gonna, it's a big mistake. You're gonna look like an idiot. I know because I've watched Gmart do it. <laughs> Anyways, chat, wine sucks. All right, we're leaving the RP landscape for a minute. I think wine is like a poison, okay? I hate it. I like champagne. I think straight wine is kind of fucking bad. I think it's kind of bad. I think it's kind of bad. I think it's bad. Whiskey or bust? Whiskey's, I mean, as far as hard liquor is concerned, whiskey's the best one. I think it's the most palatable uh, straight. I think I think most people would agree on that, frankly. But, um, I mean, I don't, it's not really a competition on that, but I think that the, I think that when I taste a really good whiskey and a really good, like, vodka, all right, here, all right, hard liquor tier list for me. Whiskey, rum, and all the others are just like average. And then, wait, what's that? I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling down. What is that at the bottom? Wait. Gin. Yeah, that shit is, if I could put it at a letter beneath Z. Like if I could invent a new letter to put it beneath Z minus, I would put it down there. Gin is awful. <laughs> Merlot. Shut, shut the fuck up, that's not fair. I've had, I've had that fucking trash. I ate it. I drank that fucking crap. If that's what I'm thinking of. Kraken loved that shit. He likes gin and tonic. Merlot, Mer, Merlot is the shit that Cow Chop made me drink, right? 
Or is that, is that something else? What am I thinking of? I, there's a poison that, like, guys at Cow Chop made me drink, like, years ago. Malort. <laughs> All right, there's Merlot, which is okay. And then there's Malort, which is a poison that people make. Chat, that shit made me think I was going to die. I had to bob for apples in Merlort. They actually made me. Are they, like, Alex yelled at me. Like, I've never been yelled at by a friend, a person I thought was a friend before. I, I'm standing there and I'm like, I don't really know if I want to fucking dunk my face into Malort. And he starts screaming at me. Like, get your head the fuck in there now. We're live. Because it was like being streamed. Like, he was yelling at me off, off camera. He was like, get the fuck in there. Everyone's so mean to you. Yeah, it's a, it's a pattern. I think, I think, I, I think I'm just too nice to people. I'm not mean back. So I just started crying. And Alex slapped me in the face. Kept yelling. It's not a big deal, dude. I haven't, uh, Alex and I never talk, dude. He avoids me. So it's not a big deal anymore. I'm scared of him anyways. <laughs> I'm scared of that guy. I don't talk to him. Manufactured drama. It's so fucking easy, dude. I'd start drama with... E dude, I saw fucking people yesterday after a stream being like, Dude, I like everyone in the in the group, but dude, that buck guy was being real mean to Tomato and I don't get it, dude. <laughs> What's that guy's deal, man? <laughs> dude, I did message Buck after and fucking yell at him. Uh, I We got into like a big fight and we don't talk anymore. We actually blocked each other on Discord. So that guy was right. So stop, telling, stop saying he was like an asshole for saying that because he was right. And we aren't friends anymore. Yeah. I still stand by the fact that if a detective in TTT ever at any point pulls three people against a wall and starts doing a bit where they check to see with a sound effect if they're evil or not, you are allowed if the sound effect makes you evil to turn around and instantly kill them. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm allowed, I'm, is this legal? That's a legal kill. I just have to keep saying it because I feel like people still don't get it. <laughs> I don't think people will ever get it. I'm halfway through the VOD, but it looks like there was no DDoS this time. Yeah. Which is why it was so annoying when people were like coming in, like literally the Boone and Thinly put a lot of work into making sure everything was good this time. It was really disheartening to watch chat be like, it's not, none of this matters because it's going to shut down in like two minutes anyways. Don't even bother watching, guys. Depressing. Like, I, I, I literally went in and was like, I don't want to stream this again and ruin it for everyone. They were like, no, 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 we set it up properly. That's not going to happen. And I was like, all right, because I really wanted to play with everyone. You guys need to be more positive. Sometimes, I swear. The only thing you're allowed to... All right, all right, here's the thing. The only thing you're allowed to be negative about is, is someone in here not, does someone in here not have a glass of wine in their hands right now? Uh, check around, check your left and right. Anyone here not have wine in their hands? Check. I don't drink. All right, Catherine. <laughs> you don't have to drink it. You just have to have one in your hands. Nitwit out. Get it out, Catherine. It's not about drinking, it's about simply having it around you to make you look more sophisticated. Does it matter what kind? Yes, but I won't say until it's too late. I'll never tell. Non-alcoholic good enough? 
I mean, you could have fucking cranberry juice in your goddamn cup, and I'm not gonna be able to tell. Uh, you need to have a, a lovely glass of British wine. And, man, imagine being Orson Welles, though. I mean, aside from the fact that he's dead now, um, imagine being him, though, and being a serious actor director, and then instead of being remembered for that shit, instead you're remembered for fucking dumpy outtakes of you fucking totally phoning it in in a commercial. And whenever people think of Orson Welles, they think about that. That's all they think about. I don't think about, like, Citizen Kane. Fuck that. I think about literally him going, the French champagne. <laughs> all right, Orson. Citizen Kane, more like... <laughs> Citizen Lame, you know what I mean? <laughs> I made that one up. If you see that in chat, they stole it from me because of delay. And if you don't think it's funny, uh, I, I, chat said it first and I stole it. So you can blame them instead and stick around. Because I'll never do that again. All right, so we've got both worlds here. Whichever one, whichever one of those you land on. I'm giving you options. I'm a streamer that gives you options, you know? Schrodinger's joke. <laughs> it's a choose your own adventure stream. All right? Sorry for the minus one viewer yesterday at Tomato. I was eating out at a fancy steakhouse with friends and family. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I don't. I I don't. And uh, it's the end of the line for you moderators. Take them away. Take them away. I've had enough of that. Take them away. For exactly as long as it will take for me to forget their name and the thing that they said to me and then take them bring them back yeah just about probably 10 seconds get your priorities straight you should always have my stream open on your pc at home anyways <laughs> You should have that shit running. Uh, this, this fucking cell phone BS doesn't even matter. Freaking stupid. Duh. What if I'm watching on my phone while the internet better not drop? <laughs> I'll know. Should be doing... Oh, I'm not even gonna read that shrumple, but that's a good name. Dude, I've realized there's been a fucking high concentration across all D&D space lately of piss RP, and I don't know how to feel. But I've seen how other people feel about it, and uh, I don't, I don't exactly know how to feel about that. I, I've been participating in piss RP, uh, regrettably, I think I have to say. Almost against my will. Nah, that's a lie. I, I willed it. I did will it. And the goblins have pissed all over Atlas, probably at this point. We've basically saturated the entire goddamn area. And the reason I'm talking about it, why am I talking about it? Because I did see someone go, like, on a fucking <laughs> significant conversation about how much they hate it. And it made me laugh, so I thought I would bring it up and continue to talk about it and continue to further it instead. <laughs> and it wasn't like a goof, like, I hate it, haha, ha, this is so stupid. It was a, <clears throat> this is ruining the D&D &D session, and it ruins every D&D &D session. 
every single time. I literally can't watch D&D anymore because every time I come in, it's piss RP. <laughs> Dude, the more you hate something, the more it's going to continue to exist out of spite alone. It's a hate vampire. It'll keep living forever. Hey, Dave. Oh, Dave here likes piss RP. No, 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 no. Dave's actually never participated in it. I don't think. I don't think Dave's ever done that. So I'm covering. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put that in his mouth when he can't even defend himself. That's that's nothing. That was me goofing. Hey, I mean, here's the thing though. As far as like that kind of cruel, awful RP goes, that disgusting RP goes. All I know is I've got an alibi. Verp never participated in it. Clerk participated in a ton, but Verp never touched that crap. Mm -mm. Nope, never did. I got an alibi. I don't like, I, 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 it's like Schrodinger's RP. You can't, unless you've watched both of my things, you can't really tell if I actually do or don't like it. You'd have to like, I'd have to do a third character to confirm if I'm actually like down with that kind of disgusting RP. You know? <laughs> Anyways, chat, about wine. Um, about wine. I have had... One glass of wine in the last year. It was a nice glass of wine. They said it cost a lot of money. So imagine my surprise when I did get it into my mouth and it tasted like death and I wanted to spit it out, but I, I stuck to it and I drank it, I drank it all the way. I finished the whole glass. It cost does not equal taste. Cost is a scam. All right, the only fucking alcoholic thing that's had a better taste for cost ratio is whiskey. That's literally it. I, uh, uh, the more expensive the wine, I think the worse it tastes. White wine is better. They're both bad. That's, that's the trick. They're, they're both not good is the problem with both of them. Tomato isn't a real wine drinker. Well, here's the thing. I know, I also know maniacs that like fucking ale, okay, and IPAs. If you drink shit long enough, you'll think shit is good, okay? That's how it works. I don't like any beers though, to be fair. I'm not a big beer person, but IPA is, and when I see someone that likes IPA, I avoid them. I don't go near them, they're bad. Something off about that guy. My dad, my dad will sip an IPA from a different time, that guy. I don't know how the hell he does it. <coughs> oh. Oh. All dads love IPA. You know, that kind of adds up. <laughs> Is that like a thing you have to get into once you have like a kid? IPAs? IPA kind of good. Radcliffe, sh shut the hell up, man. I'm checking the title here. Ch Radcliffe, look at the title. All right, note the title. What does it say? What does it say? It says, ah, most delectable vintage, parentheses. I think you missed the parentheses, where it says sophisticated viewers only nitwits out. You're looking pretty, you're looking a little bit like a nitwit to me. You're giving me real nitwit vibes, man. Isn't every tomato stream a wine stream? <laughs> Alright, I'm opening up your chat history. Let's see what other fucking real bangers you've made. Because you're killing me right now. That's fucking funny. So let's see what else you've got. Alright. Let's see here. 
Okay. Oh, this was like your first real big one. This is like your this is your this is like your fucking crowning achievement, this message. Huh? And this is what you did with it? You got you wanna like thank it you wanna like thank your family or anything? You wanna like thank people? You wanna like get up on how about you come on up up on stage? The crowd is cheering. They're all roaring your name. Woo! I already forgot your name because it scrolled past on the screen and I didn't have it maximized. Uh but if you wanna come up on stage, uh you can um you know Say a couple things if you want. I have no idea what they said because they're gone on my screen. They're gone. You have nothing on me. I'm a YouTube VOD boy. They did say though. Dude. People always acting like the YouTube VODs are a way to hide from me and that's just not true. <laughs> that's just that's never been true. That's not that's not how this works. It never has been. Make no mistake, I could crawl into the YouTube VODs any day I fucking want. <laughs> Open up the comments and find some of you scumbags. It'd be easy. I could. I don't usually because I I don't think I've ever had a situation where I've gone into the YouTube comments and not at the very least gone like oh fucking christ at least once and that's not me picking on people it's just like there's always one there's always one weirdo so i don't i don't i don't do that Sophisticated streamer talking about PRP clap. <laughs> Just tuned in, got called a scumbag, already quality stream. Yeah, I mean, look, people love chat interaction. They're just never ready for what that interaction actually means. They're never really, no one's ever really banking on the interaction being a fucking just really fucked up like yelling at the person. People, when they come into Twitch chat, they usually think, oh, the streamer's gonna read my message and have a fun time. I'm like yelling at you to get the fuck out of my stream because you're not sophisticated enough and you don't have wine in your hand. I'm, scr I'm literally screaming. I had to sneeze very bad. I better shut the wine thing though. I'm not I'm not joking on that. You better get a goddamn glass. And if I see one more person post that fucking beer remote, you're dead. You're done. Tomato, I can't drink. I have kidney stones. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually sorry. <laughs> No suck. Chat. I'd love to say that I plan on introing forever with you today, but I actually sort of want to start playing this game. I I I kind of want to like I kind of kind of want to play this game. I kind I sort of kind of want to play this game. So fast, a person asks at 37 minutes into a stream. I mean, that's not really fast, is it? I mean, that's a half an hour. That's over a half an hour. Like, look, chat. All right, here's the thing. These intros go both ways. If you're not giving, look, I personally haven't had anything like funny happen lately. I have no stories to tell. I have nothing. So like, it then falls on you to extend the intro. And you haven't been doing fucking anything. You guys, you guys have been doing fucking anything. Like all I'm getting is like fucking Omega lols, and this guy's not funny. And that, and I don't know how to. I don't. I can't work with that. I have nothing for that. The clown ran out of jokes. Well, isn't the point of a clown not really... It does, they don't really... Clowns don't really have many jokes, right? They're usually slapstick. That's the point of a clown.
streamer, how is the weather? I don't fucking know. Like, what kind of weird-ass question is that? Every time I talk about the weather, I get a DM that's like, Dude, you keep talking about the weather, someone's gonna dox your fucking sorry stupid ass because you keep telling people that you're losing, like, power and shit, you fucking idiot, you goddamn moron, you fucking kidding me? I'm like, dude, it's... Uh, what? <laughs> so, like, I know why you want to know the weather. It's because you want to get me. So don't even bother. Okay? Like, don't even bother. You're not fooling me. Dude, I cannot fucking believe how many emotes there are now of fucking various things shaking their fat dumpies on the screen. It's unbelievable how many of them there are now. Uh, Twitch, Twitch really, uh, Twitch really opened up a floodgate that I don't think they're ever gonna be. There's like one. There's a lot of them. There's awful lot of them. I've seen them everywhere. It's fucking. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Who doesn't love a good dumpy, though? I think, look, the problem is... The problem is... Okay. The problem is that it, it, it's distracting me. It's... There's a lot of motion there. And my eyes are drawn to the fucking... To the dump, you know? I, someone asked a fucking cursed question, and you better know that I don't like you anymore for asking that. Chat, I've had some weird chat. All right, let me make something fucking clear, okay? Because this applies to everything. All right. Stop, stop it with, stop, knock it off, okay? With the, with the, some of the, some of the weird shit I've been seeing, like with like verp lately, okay? Leave him alone. He doesn't have anything. You leave my precious boy alone. I've seen some unbelievable shit lately. Stop it, creeps. You guys are perverts. Stop it. Dude, all right, this is not a, this, make no mistake when I talk about this. This is not, this is not me fucking, this ain't me bullying or like picking on anyone for their shit or anything because I get it and apparently a lot of folks in the communities are like involved in it but I thought it was fucking funny I feel like I have to talk about it but keep in mind this is not me like fucking ripping on this or anything but I got contacted I didn't respond because I had no idea how to respond because it, it blew me away and I couldn't even like I couldn't process it but someone contacted me on discord and was like hey just so you know in like Arcadum's like deal there are people that make like lewd art for like uh characters and stuff and we always ask the player before we actually like do any of that stuff because we want their permission i was like that's really good because i absolutely never fucking ever 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 in a million years ever 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 ask uh ever want that i was very glad that they asked because um because uh yeah, not. Nah, Verp's like probably, uh, probably not a very good one for that. Verp's not a very good one for that. I know apparently a lot of people I know like are like down with that for their characters, and that's rad. I think that's totally fine. You know, I'm not like afraid of. I'm not, that doesn't like make me uncomfortable, but it does with Verp because <laughs> like because it's Verp. So. Uh, consider this a sweeping just um statement from me. Uh, don't ever, <laughs> don't ever, don't ever, please, don't ever, ever. <laughs> so Clarent is okay? I always imagined Clarent had a gigantic cock, sort of like sticks, you know, from, uh, from the Goblin game. I kind of always sort of based him around that. But yeah, if people want to draw, like, fucking lewd crap on, like, not-safe-for-work channels and stuff on other discords of, like, characters that 
people have made, that's more power to them, dude. I get it. I mean, I don't really participate in that crap myself because I, I don't, I don't seek it out, but I get it. I ain't judging people for it. I think it's sort of cool that people are that passionate about characters in D&D to like draw art to that degree. I think that's actually rad, but please not my boy. <laughs> I appreciate, I do genuinely appreciate that people asked and weren't just like, oh, the things I'll do to this, to this frog. <laughs> I was very happy. I didn't actually respond to the message because I, I it, it triggered a social anxiety attack in me that I will never fucking ever forget in my life. But I did, I did find it genuinely nice to be asked and not just one day climb onto my Discord and see, yo guys, you see what they did to this frog? And then, uh, no! So I did appreciate that. Chat, and to be clear, I'll put, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it anymore on the mode while I say this. Uh, to be clear, uh, this isn't like a, 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 Verp is 100% like, Gripley's, just for context, I'm, I put it in email mode because I know weirdos will fucking show their ugly heads here for a second. Uh, Gripley age goes from, you know, goes up to 60, but according to, you know, Arcadum's crap, it's uh, like, Gripley's are like a, you know, considered adult male and female by like age one or two. So it's not exactly a thing of like, Verp's a kid, but it's just like, it's just Verp, like Verp, his character. I, I just don't want it anywhere near, you know? <laughs> That's my logic. Like Verp, this is, Verp is certainly in my head, an adult uh, creature. It is just, it is just, I, it's just not, it's just not the deal for it. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm sure you can understand why I had to click emo only mode for that one. <laughs> Because people, man, some of you, some of you I'm sure are real nice people, but sometimes the second that you go anywhere near that, you get so weird and make shit so uncomfortable for the rest of us. I sometimes wish uh, you would, um, you would get it for a minute and fucking look at how crazy and psycho you look. <laughs> I, chat, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And when I get back, okay, I am going to play the game. Oh man, there he is again. There he is again. <laughs> Fucking George Lopez. The one, the one and only man. Fuck yeah. The one. All right, I'll be right back. Then I'll turn you, then I'll let you guys out of the box, okay? Okay, be right But yeah, since I need to, uh, basically, I feel compelled to do this every single time I talk about anything that people might misconstrue as me being angry or, like, some, anything like that. If anyone goes after, like, fucking any of the, like, if you're like, how, how dare they draw crap like that about anyone, I'm gonna pick on them and yell at them in their Discord or whatever. Uh, I will be so fucking mad at you and I will be ashamed to have you in my audience. So just remember that. Uh, the stuff I talk about on here is not intended to be some fucking jumping point for you to get mean to others. Uh, just remember that and keep that in mind forever about everything I talk about because holy shit, I've, so, I've seen some of you take up arms about the dumbest fucking shit on like 
my behalf and crap, and it's weird. It's fucking weird and super cringe. So just remember that. All right, everyone, wine glasses in hand. Verp is perv spelled backwards. I'm putting you back in the box. <laughs> 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 no! No! Wait a minute! It's Prev! Ban that guy! Ban that guy for being illiterate! That's a nitwit! We we have we are kicking those out. Check the chat. Check check the title. Check the title. Uh it says uh it says no nitwits. Throw that guy out. Nitwits out! Oh, that made me feel unwell. <laughs> oh. Verp is 59, right? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Old, old, old frog. All right, chat. I'm not letting you do this anymore because I'm about to send you into the scare zone. That's right. We're going into... Chat, we're going into the... We kind of... I know, like, we've been hanging out here and having fun, but, um, what? <laughs> I gotta send you into the scare zone! Okay, so, um, you know. Scare zone. Hang on, I'm gonna check the audio. With a very loud ding. Alright, scare zone audio is working. So, chat, this is the wine. Um, I was very impressed with a lot of its map design. And the first scare that happened to me made me feel not very good. So I was like, okay, this one seems pretty good. Uh, it also looks really visually good, which is shocking because this game is, in, is made by, I think one person and is also uh, doesn't have that much publicity. So I think it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a, you know, sort of like a mystery, this game. But uh, we are going to play it. I think it's gonna be a good time. New game. A pandemic which causes strong fevers, terrible delirium, and death has relentlessly decimated the inhabitants of the archipelago. Rumor has it that a prestigious red wine produced in the capital can cure the sick. You are Marty Vermello. <clears throat> In a desperate attempt to cure the infection of your beloved your, your loved ones, uh, you steal a boat and head to the winery where the red wine is made, somewhere in the capital. Yes. If you find just one unopened bottle of champagne, it will be enough. On reaching the island, you decide to go to the winery owner's estate to try your luck there. The Banjusbox family estate is close and has a dock. A cold smell of death. Ah, yes, the smell of rotting corpses. Calm and silence comes over your body when you arrive at the dock. They sealed off the infected families in their own homes without food or water. But even then, the quarantine didn't work. There is no one left alive. So it seems. Well, well, here we are at the lovely vineyard, the capital. Mm, yes. Hello. Hello, you gonna pick up my wine delivery? Huh. Bang this 
So I, technically there's a crosshair and like outline system you can put on the game. I turned off basically all the UI. So if I ever get stuck, remind me to turn back on the UI. Remind me to do it because uh, I'll probably miss stuff I can pick up and look at on the ground sometimes, but I don't like having the outline because the outline activates like, I would be able to see shit I can pick up. You see that like bottle on the ground in the light? I'd be able to see the outline for that right now. That's how like uh, outrageously strong the help system is. So I don't want that. Warning, access to canals partially restricted due to the publicly known situation in connection with the so-called devil's fever. We inform the cer that certain canals and underground passages are closed until further notice. Anyone who attempts to forcibly open these accesses will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. The remaining open canals are available for use, provided that lockdown curfew hours are observed. Hello? Hear about the wine? Oh, there's one. These are all broken, though. And this is locked. Yeah, we can turn off the AC now. <clears throat> For now. This is blocked. No way we're getting in there. More wine. All these are broken, so we're not fucking getting any of this, but this is what we're looking for if it wasn't spilled over. Someone's been spilling a lot of it over there. I mean, I could just take this one. Unless this isn't, like, the right one. I don't think this is the right one. I, th I feel like the one we're looking for is going to be a little bit more nicer. Hello? What is this? A blocked hallway. Warning, access to the canals is currently completely closed. Due to the notorious situation caused by the devil's fevers, use of all canals and public tunnels is strictly prohibited. Passing through any interior public space is prohibited under penalty of death. If passage through one of these spaces is necessary for you to reach your residence, request a passage permit at any military headquarters. Reminder, free movement in any public space is strictly prohibited during the first four days of the week and is limited to necessary activities related to health or work. Well, we're not going that. I was expecting a monster. Honestly, I don't, I technically have done this part, but I, I, I was already expecting a monster to like be on the other side. Like a bloodborne hunter walking around doing their thing or a cowboy and he broke the wine what an asshole whatever it doesn't matter uh, we can get back on our boat now and leave because we can't go this way back on the boat they got guns here we'll go up to another dock and go that way or we notice now this is what I like about this game chat. The way that, look at this. This is how they designed it, deliberately. You walk in, you're guided this way, and you go this way, and now you see, oh, you can go this way. They design, all the maps designed like that. It's really, it's really good. Reward for the killing of any Bandersbach. Bounty offered to any citizen who hunts down members of the Bandersbach family. The reward will be double for children and triple for the dishonorable Mr. Bandesvak. If he's captured alive. They should preferably be killed with a weapon which does not cause them to bleed. But a rifle is necessary. But if a rifle is necessary, avoid shooting the head or arteries, which may cause pools of blood to form. We remind you that leaving one's residence during quarantine hours is still prohibited, and everyone must take extreme precautions to combat the devil's fever. We all know what the Bandus Vosks did, but that does not mean that the rest of us, as citizens, have a free pass to ignore quarantine to hunt them down. Right. The use of passes to De Ronda for unnecessary travel is strictly prohibited. Except for locals until the cause of red devil's fever is known. All citizens must comply with these measures in section... Uh, blah, 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 don't go this way. Okay. Well, we're not going that way then. Looks like we're heading up the hill to the to the old manor to find our wine. Come on, chat. Gotta check our corners regularly. 
lest we miss something secret. You also probably want to check ledges for things. Uh, uh. I probably needed that. And now I'm never going to get it back. Blocked. We're going to have to go around into the spooky garage. A lovely wine. I... Oh, the wine is this way. The wine is... This way. Past the scary man with the gun. The wine is definitely not that way, so we don't need to concern ourselves with that anymore. This gives me Dishonored vibes, like, a lot, like, the, the way this is laid out. Like, the, uh, the crap gives me, like, Dishonored 2 vibes. Anything in any of these? No. Nothing at all. Peeling wallpaper. Bugs, insects everywhere. Notes and letters. This door's freaking locked, which is really lame. Right now. No point going that way, but in here. <clears throat> We're looking for a key. Ah! The key I've been looking for. Hang on, I should probably turn off immersive only mode because it doesn't even say like you can, it doesn't even like describe the items I'm looking at. Hang on, uh, accessibility. I'm gonna keep crosshair in the uh, outlines for help off. I'm just gonna turn back off immersive mode. It doesn't really change anything, but if I pick up a key, it'll be like, this key is a key. You can take it with you on your trip, which I'm missing. Ah, this place is very pretty, though. You gotta give them some credit on... So you can definitely physics kill people in this game. Uh, you can, if a monster comes at you, you can and are expected to huck a barrel at them so hard they explode and die. All right, well, now we have a way to backtrack if we need to. Not that we would. Our destination is farther ahead, of course. In the mansion. So, come on, join me. We just need to... No, the things I'll do for wine, chat. The things I'll, the things I'll do for wine, chat. A boarded up door. And a strange glow. And a bunch of rocks. I don't think that's gonna break through that board. And without a barrel, which I broke all of mine, I can't climb over this. Brazil. Okay, let's, um, let's keep moving then. There's something down there, blocked off. Another rat. Come to Brazil. Jesus. We could go through the front door, Jet. Look, everything's gonna be fine. Head right through the front door, Jet. Hello! Is anyone here? The ba Bastus Bosk residence? Attention! Actually, this is pretty helpful. To any member of the Bastus Bosk family, due to an uncontrolled infection related to Devil's Fever appearing among your employees, as governor, I am forced to confine your entire family and temporarily put a stop to any winemaking activity until further notice effective immediately. You have been assigned four military guards who will be your link to the outside world and take care of your purchases and other necessary errands. We hope that little Laya's health improves. Uh, for the attention of the most honorable Mr. Bastisbach, it has come to our attention that several of your employees have been infected with what some are calling the devil's fever. For, our, for your own safety, we recommend that you isolate and dismiss these filthy, irresponsible persons that under no circumstances you or your family are to leave the mansion. Who knows what sort of low-class immigrants they've been spending their free time with. Additionally, granddaughter Leia has been noticeably absent from classes for some days now. We hope she is well without wanting to cause offense. I remind you that if you or someone in your family is experiencing a fever, you should inform authorities for your own welfare. As you well know, there's a strange fever ravaging the area. For your own safety, we urge you not to leave your property. Uh, this fever is originated in poor neighborhoods where idle immigrants live in vomit-inducing conditions. 
I give you my word as governor that when these fevers have passed and everything is cleared up, those vagrant illegals will receive their punishment. Oh my god. You know how important your winery is for the island's economy, so please excuse me for suggesting that you stay in your match and cut off from contact. This, uh, this governor, whoever's writing this, has uh, got a real fucking... Got a real fucking thing going on with them. Big bottle to small bottle. Strange. Is there any way into this place? Hello? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna go down here. I didn't even go this way last time. <laughs> this is a new one. I didn't see this last time I played. This is a new one. This is uncharted fucking territory or something. Uh, and I don't think I can get back up. Hello? Oh, this is the, this gets us right into the house, Chad. This is the right way to go. Nope. Actually. Nope, can't go that way. It's blocked off. Can't go that way. It's actually blocked. I'm not going in there. You can also tell from a mile away that, again, it wants you to go this way first and then go that way. Leaf. Corkscrew. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 Okay, okay. All right. All right. It's locked. Oh, it's just a rat. It was just a rat on the other side. You see? Just a rat. Just rats having fun, hanging out. Now we can go the other way we saw. No problem. We'll just go the other way. The, the vintage wine we're looking for should be somewhere around here. In the depths of the basement. Which we are now fucking stuck in. Oh, wait, we can go this way. Uh... <coughs> Anyone? Hello? What is this place? Hello? Why are there all these holes? Where's my... What the hell? Can't even... I can't even squeeze in that thing. It's a dead end. I'm gonna be trapped in here forever. It's like... Psych! Hello? Anyone? Hello? I made a mistake coming down here. It's another dead end. Oh, never mind. There's a hole right here. Ow, my fucking leg. Important announcement from Foreman Jean Costanzo to all workers. As if it were not difficult enough to work for the Banzbach family, now they've become paranoid because of everything with the fever, and they've ordered us to install these strange metallic doors. They are simple to operate. To use these doors, push hard on the lever on the wall. The lever is stiff, so you will have to use some force. The door will shut automatically in a few hours. Okay, that's a good, important piece of knowledge to keep in mind. Is there anything this way? No. We'll open the door. Ah, they've always kept the finest vintages about a quarter mile beneath the mantle. We likely want to continue this way to find what we're looking for and return in a few hours before the door locks us in forever. I don't really want to go that way. Okay, the game has given me no choice. We're going that way. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, well, I'm not. I, 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 it's, it'll be worth it when we get the wine we've been looking for this whole time. <sighs> okay, I was just checking behind myself because I was expecting a monster. Or like the guy with the gun. I would need a camera to get this power up. Uh, that power up actually gives you quadruple damage. But I can't get to it right now. So um, we'll have to get it later. I missed the barrel! We're okay. Ugh. 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 The things I do for wine. The things I do for... I'm not planning on giving any of this, any of this to my, like, the, 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 the lady I know that's sick that I'm supposed to be getting this for. This, I'm getting this wine for me because I'm going to drink it. Okay. No, no. I'm not about to fall in there. Yet. Okay, I'm going in there. Fine, fine, fine. I'm going in. Don't hurt my legs. It hurt my legs. It's a dead end. Oh. Okay. Vase thing equals grape. And open. It probably wouldn't be very hard to brute force this, but I'm going to look around before I do that. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. This is likely where they keep the wine I've been looking for, chat. So all we have to do is find the other two combinations and casually walk in and collect my treasure. This should be a piece of cake. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I don't like that. I mean, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. Oh. oh, that animation actually freaked me out. Was that a headless person just stumbling around the corner? That actually, that animation was really unsettling. <laughs> oh, I hated that. But they're gone now. Oh. <laughs> Some of the wine fumes must be wafting into the area and poisoning my brain and making me feel unwell is all. Yes. Ah! Alright, so big pot goes to organ looking thing, and over here is the wine realm. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome. This is the wine realm. Some of you may not recognize it because you've never been here before, but this is the realm where wine is made. The wine dimension. Join me. Ow. Over here is... Ah. Where some of the greatest of wine is crafted. By the best artisans of our time. We just... Uh, these boxes out of the way. Only the finest of wine is held within these tunnels. Shall we? It's a fucking dead end and it just has... Okay, so... Glass goes to bottle, leaf goes to corkscrew, and then the other one goes to organ. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. It's Headless Man. Where's the place? Huh? 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 Oh. Okay. Uh, look, the fumes of the wine me. <laughs> must be getting to me. Uh, the fumes. It's just the fumes. But we're done there now. We can leave. Headless man isn't isn't gonna scare us anymore. Yet. Yet, all right? I'm not worried about him yet. Because we're going back to the... Oh, he's going to come out this fucking door, isn't he? Hello? Well, he's not here, which is probably good. We'll just leave. Yeah. Really? Like a half-life puzzle? How many times have I been here? Alright, where's the other bricks I need? 
A, ha a fucking Half-Life puzzle. All right, I can handle this. One brick, two bricks, and like there's a third brick. Okay. I solved the puzzle. Fuck. It's fine. Bada bing. Now I just cycle around the other side and I leave. This was made by one guy, I think, yeah. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother with that. I see what I have to do. I'm pretty sure this was made by one guy. Which is pretty fucking impressive, if true. If it wasn't, I'm sorry for the rest of the uh, developers, but... <laughs> Whatever, man, you know what I'm saying? The fact of this is, this is not what I remember. He's not... Okay, he's still following me. Uh, I, 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 I might be open the door in time. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna open it. Ow! Ow! What the? F <laughs> okay. All right, and the lever's gone. Help! 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 Help, 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 help. They're doing it too much. <laughs> They're doing it too much. They're doing it too much. I've been chased multiple times, and when I turned around, the thing's been gone, and the entire room has changed. I don't know where I am anymore. Help. Help. <laughs> I, I mean, it, Chad, I've just been breathing in too much of the fumes of the wine, and now I obviously have gotten a little disoriented, so... Well, clearly in the basement of the winery. It should be obvious to anyone who's gotten wine before. See, we're right where we were supposed to be. Some of you act so weird. You guys are so weird. It's just wine. You guys are acting, you guys are freaking me out. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you have the fever. I don't have the fucking fever, and that's not funny. Come on, let's go upstairs. Which will probably let us right out into the fucking mansion. Hello? Oh. Nice. Nice Dark Souls sort of level design. Looping around to places we've been. It's nice to be in the daylight where monsters aren't real. Really nice. <sighs> yes. Check my perimeter, nothing's ever safe. Everything looks to be safe. All right, let's move this thing in. Some would call this the Dark Souls of Wine. I would, I would be compelled to agree. It, it takes a long, hard amount of work to get all of this vintage. But it is worth it for the flavor alone. Though. The mixture. What am I, what did I do that for though? What was the fucking point of this BS? I can send it back the other way. I think what I want to do is send it back and then get on this thing and run up and jump on it as it goes. But I, my stamina availability is like fucking jokester tier. I think I missed my window actually because I wanted to jump onto it. Okay, I'm gonna have to send it back again. I get it now, I see what I have to do. But my character is sort of, uh, my character's got fucking cry of fear Simon levels of um, stamina, meaning I've got about five seconds of sprint before I run out of energy, and I'm donezo with that. Pretty much. Too much wine. I have too much wine in my belly. It's making me, it's making me feel all silly and confused. But at least there's no one with a... Jesus. Jesus. Jesus too. Come to Brazil too. Don't run out of stamina. 
It's fast, but it's not that fast. Okay, we got it. Yeah, isn't it lovely to have to go through a pile of bullshit just to get to the wine you ordered in advance with a pre-order? Isn't that fucking, isn't it fucking nice to have to do this much BS to get the wine you ordered uh, deliberately from their website? I ordered this online. Why did I do that? And ah, uh, my arms are very, I have very short arms. I can't reach that. I, it seems I've been trapped in the maze. I can't reach that. I have T-Rex hands. I'm a little walking T-Rex boy. I can't get over to that. I'm stuck in the maze. Fuck this. Fuck you, too. Fuck, fuck all of you. Uh-uh. Nah, I don't like this. Headless guy's gonna come back around the corner and chase me. And I'm gonna get lost because it's a fucking maze. Huh. I mean, this game's got an atmosphere I haven't played in a fucking horror game in a long time, chat, and that's why I like it a lot right now. Like, something about a horror game that takes place that has, like, a surface zone that's so well lit makes me very uncomfortable. I thought I heard walking for a second. I was wrong. Okay, that's a dead end. What am I doing? Oh, lovely. I made it to the balcony. I was looking around to see if I saw that guy. Nothing. And now back into the maze. That's a dead end, and there's a monster coming, probably. If I had to guess, I just, like, procced a monster spawn. Okay, well. What is that? Rock? Okay, well, the maze wasn't that hard. It seems like I did it. I'll go this way to the building. Never mind. Unless these windows open. They do not. I need to mash E on things because I don't have the outline on because I don't want to have everything spoiled in the game for me from a mile away. But, um... I wouldn't mind a middle ground where it tells me when I hover over something that I can pick it up without the crazy blue outline. Okay, it looks like we found the way out of this. Locked. I'm not surprised. Oh, actually, it might do that. It might tell me what I can pick up because I have it. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, it does. I, that, that was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. It does tell me. I was being stupid. Might be. All right. Well, nothing in there. Are we in the mansion? Wait, did we just climb into the spooky mansion? Oh, uh, what am I doing? Uh, okay, yeah, we're going in the spooky mansion now with all the sick people and the crazy family. Hello? Hello? I'm here to pick up my wine. <laughs> it's, it's me. I'm here to pick up my wine, everyone. I'm not going outside yet. Ah! <laughs> the wine zone. This is exactly where I wanted to be. Down here should be the wine I ordered. In one of these hallways. This is the wine zone. This is where they keep most of the wine. In this room. Ah, oh, I don't really want to do this again. Ah! <sighs> Wait! I've been here! I've been here! We've been here! Yeah, we've been here! Okay. This is good map design, chat. Other horror game devs should take notes. I like it when a game does stuff like this. A lot. Yeah, there, there are these signs with the camera. I need to get an item. Oh, there's something here. Mother and father, school essay. 
Mother and father are two gigantic statues you can see from almost every part of the capital where we live. Mother is at the top of the highest peak on the other side of the bay, and father stands at the place where almost everybody works. The Bani Spizitisbach Winery. My father works for them too as a servant. Oh, we're not in the manor. We're in someone's random fucking house. This isn't even where I want to be. No one knows who built these statues, but they let the Bandit Rocks build their winery below Father because they were so nice to everyone. Whenever... Hello? Probably a rat making fucking sounds. Whenever someone here is sad or crying, they usually go up to visit Mother. Mother is good, helps people who come to her feel better. Father is good too, he helps the bandit spots and all of us to make the best wine in the whole wide world. Here's this fucking really bad picture I drew of a cat. And here's another picture I drew of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just checking the drawers. There's nothing else here. Well, it looks like we better continue on to the actual manor using this drawbridge that they had built in so that the people that lived and worked here as servants to this house would never have to walk on the ground where the sickness was. It makes sense. Freaky ass rats. That's how you see, that's how the disease spread shit. BS like that. Fre you see that freaking shit? <laughs> These doors don't even fucking work. They climb right through it. They'll get in anywhere. Freaking rats, man. What the hell? Oh boy. Okay. Frick. All right. I gotta fucking do all of them right this time. We gotta do some. We got. I know where some of them are. Is that light flickering back on again? Someone. Someone in there! I'm coming over, but I don't want to, just so we're all on the same page. Headless man, at you? Headless man, I'm gonna throw up if you jump at me. Oh, it's just the light. <gasps> Fuck this, man. God dang it. Well, I better go get the ones that I do know. Because we see, we've seen some of them on the walls. So let me, like, make sure I get these down. Did I ever try to go this way? No. And this opens back to the ground floor. Okay. And that also means we can technically... Wait, was this always open from the side? No, this is just locked. Well, there's no reason to open that. It's a pretty easy shortcut either way. Let me try to get some of this stuff down. Any and all who have found helping members of the Bandersbach family or their employees will be placed in quarantine in a cell for five months. We urge all not to accept bribes from members of the family since they have all been infected with the devil's fever and constitute a serious health danger. All tunnels and underground accesses to the winery, private cellars, and farmhouse have been sealed off and are monitored by the authorities. Any family member by last name Bandersbach found by the authorities outside their mansion will have their belongings confiscated and burned and then escorted back to the mansion. I see. Well, time to start looking for all the crap we need to open that door. I wonder if... Alright, so we have... Okay, I... This is gonna be hard for me to remember. Vase goes to small bottle. We're gonna plug that one in right now. Vase goes small bottle. Actually, I can grab the one in the basement as well. Vase goes small bottle. And there's one in the basement I can grab too that I already know is down there. 
two. B -b 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 structure private cellar, sloppy construction of wooden structures for the tunnels and facade stones for exterior opening placed in a very haphazard manner. This place was built like shit by idiots that don't know how to build a proper basement, is what it's saying. What? Ah! I'm fine. You can't die in this video game. I'm kind of invincible. <laughs> I'm sort of invincible. So, base to bottle, leaf to corkscrew. Do we already know the others? I feel like it might just repeat them. So we might already have the answers to the other four. It might just be the old ones. Because I haven't seen any new ones since. It might genuinely be the old ones. Which would make- that would make sense. I don't like fucking being in here. Ah! Ah! Oh! You gotta be kidding me with this spooky ghost man! He's actually chasing me around, he's chasing me again. I can see his shadow, he's still there. Fuck off! What is your deal? This is a dead end. This basement's a dead end. This basement's a dead end, I went the dead end basement way. But he can't get through this. No way he gets through this. Dude, where's the gun guy, though? I'd be down to get attacked by gun guy instead of spooky fucking, I think, ghost that isn't real guy. I think this guy's just in my head. Well, now I forgot everything I was looking for. My wine! I spilled it everywhere. <laughs> ah, she made me spill my champagne. I'll never forgive him for this. I don't even want to go in this room now. This guy fucking ruined this room for me. I was trying to open this cabinet before. And screw this guy. Screw this guy! I hate him. I hate- I hate him. I hate him. Alright, let's see if I can plug in these properly. Uh, so, vase, go to bottle, leaf, go to corkscrew. Fucking, I forgot all of the others. I forgot every single other one in the entire thing. I forgot them all. I'd have to go back into the- oh, there's one there. Uh, funny one, go to organ looking thing. So we have two that we don't know the answer to. But I might be able to goof it. Shit. I shouldn't be brute forcing this. I shouldn't need to. But we have three of the five answered. Unless I fuck this one up. Did I fuck this one up? Wrong code. Well, now, of course it's the wrong code because the correct code is naturally going to be this code. Okay, the correct code is obviously going to be uh this one. All right, I'm going to go find the others now. <laughs> oh, there's one. Okay, now we have it. All right, we got, we got it, we got there. All right, now it's one section that we don't have the answer to, and that that makes it. Okay. You cycle the wine glass one. Unless I fucked up this somehow. Unless I mixed up. If this doesn't work, then I, uh, then I know what I have to do. But this should be the answer. Yep. VOD viewers skip 10 hours. Shut up! I solved it in like 10 seconds. But anyone that's a scared little loser should skip the next 20 minutes because we're about to get spooked. Or not. Hello? It, it's me. I'm here to I'm here to pick up my wine that I ordered. Uh, it's me, Wine Freak 25, on Amazon. Or uh, sorry, Craigslist. Um, you said my wine would be ready today, so I'm here. Uh, 
I'm coming in. Uh, it's fucking dark in here. Well, I fucking fell into uh, the ceiling. <laughs> The ground under your feet cracks. You fall on the debris and are knocked unconscious. Slowly you begin to wake up. It is night now. Fuck! I liked it being daytime. You remember someone dressed in black who came near you and locked you in the room. You were unsure if it was real or a dream. Your eyes slowly adapt to the light and you wake up with a terrible headache. Little by little your vision gets less blurry. Hello? Hello? Lots of fucking birds in the bird room. Orcs and crap. I agree with tomato, wine is garbage. Oh, I know. The door's locked from the other side. Ugh. They owe me my wine, and I'm going to have it. Hang on, I gotta make sure I can jump back into this thing if I'm in trouble. I can't. Okay. Hello? Okay, the people in this mansion lost it. I don't- I'm starting to think that my Craigslist order isn't going to be happening. And the front door is locked. From the outside. Which is really good. I'm really happy about that. Okay. Well, I know I'm not going down there. And this door's blocked. That mirror freaked me out. Hello? I'm looking for my wine. Nothing, really? Really? Getting sick of the disrespect. I paid a lot of fucking good money for that thing! They really lost their shit? Yeah, I mean, you get put in a box for long enough, you'll lose it, you know? In a tremendously irresponsible outburst after 28 days of quarantine, an indecent mob from the slums attempted to flee by crossing the bridges. They organized during the night, and in the early hours of the morning, they armed the, an armed mob headed towards the bridges, attempting to cross them. The mob, mainly composed of vagrants and immigrants, showed their colors right as they arrived at the bridges when they tried to shoot the guards on the other side. Luckily, none of the guards were killed. Fearing that this would happen sooner or later, the authorities were already prepared and opened fire from the parapets on the other side of the bridges. The dead numbered in the hundreds, although none of the guards were killed. Once they saw it was impossible to escape over the bridges, many of the rebels jumped from the windows into the river. None survived the drop-off at the waterfall. The authorities fear that because of this mob, even more residents from the slums may have been infected by the devil's fevers. Deaths in the coming weeks are expected to the number into the thousands. First executions carried out for, the, for those fleeing the slums, the slums. We must stay united and stop situations like the one that occurred several weeks ago from continuing... The economy will revive when the devil's fever, as we now call them, are over. This newspaper is appealing to the personal responsibility of each and every one of us. If that means going hungry in confinement, so be it. For the good of all, the alternative is death. Okay. I'm just here for my wife. I don't even live in this fucking state. Rich? None? When's Spooky Man coming back out? Where's Spooky Guy? Alright, come on game, where's Spooky Guy? They shot her. Those miserable lowlifes shot my wife from the same barricade they built themselves to keep us in. I was trapped in the kitchen while she was bleeding in the hallway. I heard her as she died trying to get to the dining room. Our son is scared and doesn't want to leave his room. Everyone has abandoned us. All of us who did so much for the capital and its economy hunted like dogs. 
Everybody blames us now for what's happened with the wine. We've gone from heroes to scapegoats. Now I'll try to move out of the kitchen, go save my son, and, try and run to the dining room, the safest place in the house at the moment. The Bandisbosk name can't die, but if it does, it'll be on my terms. If they break into the house, they won't catch us alive. The most honorable is Bandisbosk. I see. Wait, Miss Bandisbosk? I thought it was Mr. Bandisbosk. Okay, two Miss Bandis Bosks. That's, that's good. Good shit. Or it's a typo. Might be a typo. There's been, there's been a couple typos. Uh, well, nothing in the kitchen. Uh, it's probably Headless Man O'Clock right about now. The dining room is, I believe, the sealed... No, it's a dinky fucking dining room. That ain't the fucking dining room. That's not the dining room. Well, we know where we're going. And it's not good. It's uh, not good at all. Oh. I'm very strong, is the thing, Jack. I'm very strong. Nope, not going down there. But I will open this door. Okay. Nope. I'd rather take the stairs and climb into that. Ah. It's too bad my be my small T-Rex hands are also very thick. I got thick T-Rex hands, so I also can't reach through this to push that board vertical. So, uh, god dang it, they caught me again. Wrong code. Where's the code? Okay. It's gonna be a couple codes, huh? We're, we're code country. Well, I guess I'm going into the floorboards. <laughs> Fuck this, man. Who built this place? Dining room. This is the dining room, the safest place in the whole house. Hello? Why did I go down the spooky way? What was I thinking? Go this way. Say what? Hello? <laughs> it's me! I'm uh, here for the wine. I'm here for my wine. Hello? Anyone? I do not believe I'm getting in there just yet because I'm getting in there later. I'm in a boarded up spot in the room. Nothing in the drawers. Nothing in there. Monster in one of these the next time I open one, calling it. And it looks like I can climb these to leave. All right, well, we're not getting into that room yet. That will continue to evade us for now. But soon, soon, monsters don't exist. They can't hurt you. I know, believe me. I'm not afraid of monsters. You gotta know I'm not afraid of monsters, okay? But I, I am not going down there. Man, whoever fucking hucked me in here barred me in. Just checking that because I didn't open it before. Oh, hey, there's the key. Ah, yes. The lovely map design once again telling me exactly what I need to see. Exactly what I need to see it. Very good. A key that will allow me to explore more of the house. 
So I'll retake a look around now. I don't see it. I can't see the big red arrow. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Here he comes. Really? This will take me outside, right? Oh, this is the dining room. Yikes. That's a gonna be a yikes uh, from me, ladies and gentlemen. That's a yikes. Yikes. I don't think I'm getting my order anymore. Truly a shame this was a lovely... This place made lovely wine and now it's fucking dead. But who's been lighting all these candles? Wait, who's been... If you guys are dead, who's lighting the candles? <laughs> if everyone from the family that lives here is dead... Lighting the, the can, can't probably whistle boy, probably whistle gum boy. Probably lives down here. <laughs> Another empty bottle of wine. Empty bottles of wine. It's, it's dead, dead people bunch of freaking BS on the ground. Someone's been... All right. <laughs> okay. All right. That's not good. That's real recent then. That's, ex that's extremely recent in that case. Uh, well. Also a bed, yeah. Whoever's here, they have been... Enjoying themselves quite a bit. Hello, scary man with the gun. I don't know which one of these options is better. Down there probably spawns spooky headless guy. If I touch this one, there's probably a guy with a gun right on the other side. I think I choose scary headless man. I can't go this way. Well, now I know. Don't shoot me! Oh! Oh, oh, it's one of those. Oh, it's one of those. It's one, it's one of those. It's one of, it's one of those, dude. It's one of those. I do for for fucking wine. It's not even that good. Wine's sort of like piss. I don't like wine. And it's fucking the lights barely work. Probably a scary fucking man around. Okay. Bottle. Wine to bottle. Wine to bottle. What else we got? Leaf to grape. And then... Oh, this is fucking haunting. I don't know why this is freaking me out so much. I, I, this is like scary. This is like, I actually don't like this at all. Like, I feel like something, I feel like I'm gonna be looking for something and then I'm gonna get like fucking attacked while I'm looking for the last thing. I mean, I guess I can just brute force it now. I don't really have to wait around for the last thing. Wait, these are about, wait, the color's off. Look at that. No, 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 that was just in my head. Okay, so that to bottle, leaf to grape. We'll try this one. Where? Um. No monsters behind me yet. That was weird. But that was just in my head. And another. 
Chad, I, Chad, I simply, again, am breathing in some of the fumes. That's not a guy. That was just me thinking there was a guy. That was in my brain. That wasn't even, that wasn't even scary. That's just the wine fumes again. The guy is actually right about here. So, uh... So we're not doing jump scares anymore. Okay, chat, when I close, when I turn around, he'll be gone again. In three, two, that's the real one. That's the real one, that's the real one. He'd be gone by now if he wasn't the real one. That's the real one, that's the real headless man. Don't run at me. Don't. Oh, is it like a boss fight? Oh, what are you fucking... He's standing right next to a lever. Oh, fuck this. Are you kidding me? He's standing right next to, like, an exit. I bet I have to do it, like, multiple times while he's chasing me around like an asshole. Dude! How are you even alive right now? <laughs> Alright, let's do this! Gotta get him away from the thing. He's not that fast. Ah, ah, damn it! Okay, we can, we can get, we can do this. We almost got it. We almost got it. We'll be okay. I had time last time. Go! Was he even there at all? Was he even ever there? Was he ever really there? Hello? This is nice. On the water. I don't like that guy. I don't like his... I think his animation is fucking horrifying. I really don't like the animations on that thing. Like the model is average, but the animations on it are just really unsettling. I don't like his face. Huh? Yeah, chat. Tell it how it is. Fuck it, let me in. One of these is my order, I think. Or oh, none of them are. And this is a dead end fucking room. None of these are my order. Oh my god. All right. Well, where am I even going? Uh, I would reckon, chat. Oh, this is a haunted ground. The ground here is haunted. You can fucking tell by the smoke, or fog, or mist. Uh, lazy rain. I stole that joke from Kraken. It was so easy. He's I, I can tell he's fucking like, he just immediately huh? sneezed. The second I said it. Huh? Easy. Ah, it's sort of like a parkour. You think a gun guy's gonna come out? He's like, try to fucking kill me while I'm doing this? I'm guys, it's been really spooky because we keep seeing gun guy, but the monster that keeps coming after us is other guy. You know what I mean? And that makes it like, oh no. I haven't been fucking doing anything with this. Okay. So we have seen these symbols around the house. I just wasn't connecting the dots on what those symbols meant. Until now, I don't think. Like, because I couldn't see it properly before from here. It was, like, sort of obscured by the... Actually, yeah, it was literally... Oh, that's cool. Dad, they really do, like, design it deliberately like that. It's hard to see it because they block the beam of the plank 
literally blocks those symbols perfectly. So you can't even see it until you've gone to the spot to even... What the fuck was that? Okay. So that was... I thought that was like a bug? No, it wasn't. Um... Looks like everything's sort of changed a little bit. Well, I see a circle might go to weird squiggle. I'm gonna put that in. Circle to weird squiggle. Chat, so far, this horror game is to me. I've, this one, for like the lack of publicity this one has, this is really impressive to me. Like a fine wine that you found in like the garbage <laughs> that no one's ever tried before because it's... Fucking hello? Dude, fuck this. I don't want to be here. Like sewer wine, yeah. Okay, well, uh... We're looking for the symbols right next to each other. That's the only way we can really tell if it's where we're supposed to be going. Like, that's the only way we find the actual symbol we're looking for. Okay. That one goes to triangle, upside down. That one's like one of them. So, circle with a dash in it is triangle. That, I'm going the wrong way. This way. I'm like scared. I'm actually like, really unsettled right now. So like, what the dash in it is upside down triangle. It's already set to that. Okay, let me just make sure. Yes, this one is set to upside down triangle. Hello? I don't like this. I'm curious if there's one in the basement here, like in the floorboards. I'm gonna check. The stuff has changed slightly. Uh, which I'm... I'm assuming some stuff has changed because I saw floating chairs. Nah, it doesn't look like things have actually changed. I don't like that. I don't like the sounds. Oh, this is blocked now. Okay, so I had no reason to come back in here. There's block behind me. So now a monster's gonna get me. For being stupid. Right? Eh? Right? No? You actually killed yourself. You're done now, streamer. You fucked up. No, there's no monsters in the game built in. I don't know. There is, though. There's a guy. When we go upstairs, we're going to get chased. Probably. So, which is why I'm stalling. I don't know if you've noticed, chat. I'm stalling hard. Kitchen. Has been looted. I think that I looted it, though, technically. Like, the looting... This looting was done by me. So, I shouldn't be scared of this. I did this. That's- I'm the monster. Oh, it's a storm outside. It's storming. That's not a gun guy. It's a storm. I thought that was the gun guy. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna let you in on what the dev is doing right now. He's making lightning bolts and thunder happen. So, the next time it happens, we actually get fucking shot. Because <laughs> now he's made it clear. He keeps setting it up as uh, lightning, lightning, boom, I got shot, and the guy's actually in the room trying to kill me. That's what's happening. But why are the chairs floating? Because I've got uh, wine fumes in me. Okay. That one goes to that. Let's plug that in. Omega lug. Omega lug. Upstairs, I've been stalling upstairs. Uh, I, I got jump scared by the lever. I thought that was gun guy. Okay, that goes to upside down thing. Let's plug that one in, then we can technically brute force it. 
So I'm gonna check over here quick and spawn the enemy. Someone just fart? <laughs> Be scared of me. I'm in. I'm not. I'm safe. I'm cool. Here he comes. Here it comes, Chad. So the only one we didn't get was this triangle. We don't have the answer to triangle, right? So, uh, you can just guess this one for now. We'll say it's T and we'll just rotate it until we get it right. Bazinkus. Here comes the bullet to my chest. Right? Oh, it's happening right now. This guy's gonna shoot me because we're gonna be jumping down there. Oh, cat. It's cool. Where the hell did that cat go? Where did that cat go? Where'd that cat go? Oh, probably through this hole. Okay. So there's a dead end nothing room. And actually nothing happened. Hello? Mon monster? Okay. Every time nothing happens, I get more unsettled. Go this way. I saw something to interact with for a second. Or so I thought. I need to get up there. Huh. Well, whatever we're doing, we can do it with whatever we have right now. Huh. Look at dark. Hello? I seem to be stuck and unable to move forward. Nothing here I can pick up to get up there. I might be able to just jump it. Oh, that that's going to confuse some people, dude. That, that doesn't look like you can make it right away. But I guess I haven't done much parkour in this game. That's, uh... Chat, that's just wine. That's just wine. That's just some wine. <laughs> that's blood, that's blood, that's blood. That's blood, that's blood, that's blood, that's blood. That's blood. That's fucking blood, that's blood. Hang on, maybe just... <laughs> that's blood, that's blood, that's blood. I don't have the lever to activate this. Too bad gun guys down this hallway. This would be a really cool zone. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chad, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You guys hang out. You guys hang out. Okay? You guys hang out. When I get back, the gun guy's gonna fucking come in. Okay, I'll be right back.
Ah, uh, yes. It seems it's time for us to collect this lever. Uh-huh. You know, you can't run with this lever in your hand. Who's flickering the lights, though? Okay. Bruh. <laughs> okay, bruh. Really? Nothing, really? Okay. Okay. All right. We have to go into the wheel zone now. And it's time for our character to die because we've run out of places to explore. Really? Okay. Man, my guy needs to get off of the fucking wine fumes, dude. We aren't doing good. Ah! No, I was wrong! We, of course, have simply traveled back into the wine realm uh, once again. Here we are in the land of the perfect reserve. This is, of course... This is, of course, one of the most... One of, this reserve is made out of penguin blood. Actually, not many people like it. It's a very acquired taste. And it looks like that's the lever we need. I think there's a monster in the wine realm today. You know, most monsters of the modern age actually originated in the wine realm. That's something they don't tell you. Believe it or not, most monsters originated from the wine realm. That's right. This isn't where my lever goes. I'm gonna leave a lever right there. Take a look around. Do I need a key to be opened? Okay. I might as well find where this lever goes before I activate it or carry it around with me. Since we gotta like find where the key is as well. This place is lovely though, very pretty. Okay, I'm guessing, yeah, that's where the lever goes. Hey, so dope Staffy, thanks for the five gifted subs. Those five gifted subscriptions are gonna enable me to buy poorly uh, poorly advised food meals tonight, such as, but not limited to, the Sinful Bell. Thanks. <laughs> ah, stop it, hey! Hey, you gotta be kidding me with this stuff right now, man. I got a fucking lever to move, you can't do this to me. Really? I'm gonna have to kite this guy very far away to do this. He's just like a Scooby-Doo monster. Oh, I'm never gonna get this all the way over there. Pop. It's actually not that bad. I can totally do it. But it is gonna take me a couple runs back and forth. Man, how heavy is this lever? It's full, it's made out of pure dense, incredibly dense. I mean, Chad, I've seen dense fucking things before, okay? Metal can get fucking dense. So I don't doubt that this thing could be fucking heavy. I'm not sure the exact point behind it being this heavy, but I miss, I actually walked by it. I am such a fuck up. That was the biggest fuck up of my fucking gaming career. Well, that was the biggest fuck up of my entire career. That right there. That was embarrassing. That was actually embarrassing. Beep wop, weep wop. Why is there two separate levers? Wait, why are there two? Why is there two spots? Is that two spots or am I going crazy? Oh, no. Maybe he despawned. No, he didn't. Man, the wine realm fucking sucks this year. This vintage is bad. Chat, I don't want- I didn't want to say it, because you guys know I'm a big fan of wine. This year's vintage is terrible. Okay. I'm gonna go around first. Before I go across. 
but it looks so pretty. It is very pretty, but the vintage sucks and it tastes like sweat. All right. It's like sweat, bad sweat. Just checking for keys. All right, let's go. He can't follow me across the bridge. See, look, he doesn't. The ghost can't cross moving what? I got my key. I, uh, dude, you're not as scary in an open field, okay? Like a monster slowly chasing you around in an open field is less scary. <laughs> <laughs> He's just stumbling along after me and like, oh Jesus! How the hell did he, how did you, how did you do that? How did he do that? How did how did he do that? How did he do that? How did he do that? Let me in! Let me in! When I close my eyes and open them again, I'll be back in the living room and not in the wine zone. Three, two, one. Wow, Nito. I'm back in this shithole. Still in a dead end, by the way. <laughs> it's still a dead end and we're still gonna die, chat. <laughs> we're still gonna die. <laughs> wow. Unless this wasn't actually a dead end, and it was really the way out all along. Nope. It was really a dead end, and we're really gonna die. Unless I can use this barrel or box to climb out. Nope. All right, we're dead. It looks like this might be the end of our adventure. We finally met our match. Hang on, if this box can break, then we're fucked. All right, we are fucked. Uh, what? Really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the wine fumes in my body are finally fucking shutting my organs down. I just felt my kidneys turn off. Half of my brain has turned into mold. The fumes. Where's gun guy? Nah, I don't like that. I'm going a different way. Nah, I don't like that. I'm going this way. <laughs> How deep did this go? Not very. Looks like it's actually a dead end. Fuck this. Fuck this. I'm going this way. Wait, that's the way I just came from. Fuck this. I'm going this way. <laughs> hey, Rat Chan. One of these two ways is the way I'm choosing to go. It really honestly depends on the vibe I'm getting from the interior. Void? I don't think so. Uh, let's try this one. Really? Okay. Uh, we got two voids, ladies and gentlemen. Where, where, which one of these lucky voids are we going? We're going this one. This one's a dead end. Nothing in it. Okay. This one. Also nothing in it. Just two scary sort of rooms. Might get a flashlight soon or something. Might be what's happening. Guess I'm going down here with the guy with the gun. Hope you guys like that. I don't. But maybe he's already gone. He seems to be a busy man with a busy schedule. He might be gone. You know? Probably doesn't have time to deal with me. Some weirdo that's just after wine? Is this the puzzle again? The fun puzzle? Oh, there it is. I freaking love those. Freaking love seesaws. Uh huh. Okay. Down there. 
All right. Loops back around to there. Looks like we're gonna have to weigh this thing down so that we can get up there. Keep an eye out for rocks that aren't part of the geometry and boxes. Hello? Don't talk to me. This puzzle's gonna be real fucking hard if this is the way it's gonna be. We need to find some rocks. <laughs> I don't think we get uh, I don't think we get to do this the way I thought we'd get to do this. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. We're gonna need to find rocks. We're gonna need something to pick up off the ground for that one. That's just not happening. Alright, keep your eyes peeled for fucking rocks. Mainly, like, big blocks of cement, because I don't think normal rocks do. That or I don't need to do all this, and I'm going crazy, and there's a totally different thing to do. I mean, I see the cart. I know the cart. I wonder if that has a uh, lever on it. That might honestly be the answer, considering everything else that had a lever. Okay, so what I have to do is activate it, then push the thing down so that the cart comes out onto it, and then this piece of flimsy fucking wood will snap into a million pieces beneath the fucking 12 tons of solid rock. I want to be on this side. Why? Oh, nice! Oh, that makes much more sense. Okay, all right. Okay, perfect. We got out of there. <sighs> ah, yes, I did forget to tell everyone that I have filled myself with an incredible amount of lead. And thus, I fall very quick when I fall. I collapse incredibly quickly. My body is very dense, full of wine. It's no, it's no matter. I simply have to make sure I fucking jump when I do things. How the fuck? What the frick? I can't even... I don't know what to... I can't... Oh, I can go this way. Okay. Better luck next time, game devs. You couldn't slow me down. Fuck you. Couldn't... Couldn't do it. I... The things we do for... <laughs> toilet paper, dude. Been there, dude. I too have been in a pandemic where I felt like this, my guy. This is, this is, this is, this means something to me. This actually like touches me. I've been here. <laughs> Please. And it looks like his ass exploded. <laughs> Poor guy. Didn't stand a chance really is too bad. Well, I have no reason to stay here. It's one of these ones, huh? All right. Here we are. <laughs> In the new zone. see stuff on the ground though okay what's always better top or bottom floor bottom floor leads to exit but top evil gravitates down towards the core of the earth so we're probably gonna want to go this way evil gravitates down Door needs, to, door needs a key to open, and we can't even go this way. What's this, though? If you're reading this message, then you are a resident of the Upper Flats. I can't read all of it. I'm not supposed to be reading it from here. Um, cheese to meet you. Chat, you're so fucking 
funny. God damn it, man. Save some jokes for the rest of us. Holy shit. Locked from the other side. Well, it's not like I want to be out there at night anyways. I feel like this game's got a really scary environment at night. To all the residents who wish to use the underground shortcut to the main square, the passageway suffers from intermittent power outages. Uh, those who don't know the passageway, well, should avoid using it, since without power, the corridor turns into total darkness. On another note, the resident living in the upper penthouse is suffering from strange fevers. This does not seem to have any connection to the winery fevers, but for your safety, please leave your homes as little as possible. Joanne Costa, community president. I don't want to fucking stay in here, though. I kind of want to go into the basement and leave. Nah, fuck these boxes. I gotta get rid of these. These boxes gotta go. I, I, I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna deal with this shit with the boxes. Uh uh. Get rid of the boxes. It's a fucking dead end. They blocked it. They blocked the place. I can't even leave this way. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. We're not. That's not good. There's gotta be a way out of this place. There's gotta be a fucking way out of this place. It can't just be a dead end. You gotta let me out of here! I must have missed something. Nothing in the lights. Might be something right here. I think I need a flashlight. I, I think I missed something upstairs I gotta go get. I think I actually need something from the top floor. I bet that sick person owns a flashlight. It's about time we get one of those. Or it's too late. Fucking hell. Did I try this door before? Yeah, it was locked. I can't just rip these boards off the wall? No? Hmm. None of these boards can be ripped off the wall. I haven't seen any keys anywhere so far. Let's do like an environment sweep. Because we're locked in a pretty small area. We can't, we're missing something, if anything. Because we're sealed in. We can't leave this spot. Soft lock? I don't think there's a soft lock, dude. Fines for property owners who do not properly maintain their structures. As part of the new economic plan, the government has decided to fine owners of buildings and properties with facades facing the public street that present an undesirable appearance. These owners will have a period of two weeks to repair any problems with their structures. If left unrepaired, fines will be issued. If repairs are not, still not made, the property will be seized. The governor wants to personally explain these new urban policies in a press conference where no questions were taken. He stated that the island's economy is heavily dependent on wine exportation. He clarified that this was not a criticism of the Bandisbos family. However, he feels that the capital needs to find new ways of generating income and tourism is one of them. Therefore, he explained that if we want tourists to come here from other parts of the Republic, we must keep the appearance of our buildings impeccable. I see. I genuinely believe I'm missing something down here that I need to see. Hmm. That or I really am supposed to have a flashlight by now and I just don't have one. Because I'm an idiot. But then again, this game has had, like, hallways open quietly behind me that I didn't notice before, so there is also a chance I'm missing something. I'll turn on the UI in, like, a minute if I think I need it. Because I think I might just be missing, like, a tiny key on the wall or something that I'm supposed to see. Let's turn on the UI for a sec. So now we'll see outlines. You see, like, that's the thing is, like, look at the range on that. It shows everything that's interactable for miles. It's a little strong. You can see it through fucking walls. Locked needs a key. 
It says that's interactable, but we can't interact with it yet. Which means whatever we're doing is in the basement. Most likely. Because there's nothing else to interact with. Like, yeah, like stuff like this is when I do need it. Because this was the flashlight and I couldn't see it. Okay. We're going to turn back off accessibility again now. Yes. Wine is a lot easier to see in pitch black advanced darkness. I agree. I agree. Yes. This is a bright fucking flashlight. This is a good flashlight. So I'm, flashlight, don't turn off. Don't, don't, don't. It overheats. It overheats. It's too good. Okay. Well. Nothing in here. Try for fucking boxes. Let's open this shortcut. Now that's taken care of. I like it when my flashlight overheats. I mean, it's better than the flashlight just sucking or having batteries, frankly. I think that's a better option. I, I'll take that any day of the week. In my opinion. <laughs> I'd rather just have a finite amount of time you can use it. Because battery mechanics suck. Especially when you, are, when you don't play the game exactly how the devs want. The fastest way to make me quit your game as a horror game is to punish me when I struggle to figure out a part of your game with finite resources. I don't want to go in there until I've uh, regenerated my flashlight. One more second, please. Okay. A way to get up to the attic there. They didn't dump all the wine into the bathtub, did they? Huh? No, of course they wouldn't. That would be absurd. Well, I'm gonna have to find a way up into the attic. With, uh... Some jumping tool, I think. I don't... I would be shocked if I can make this one. Wait, I can make this one. From the other side. I can make it from this way. Yeah, barely. I don't want to go up there till I've gotten my till I'm sure my flashlight's full charge again. Okay. Oh this is a room where someone was told someone actually is supposedly had a fever. Someone was actually sick in this building. We're in the room right now of a sick person. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not. That's another floor up. Wait a minute. Yes, we are. That's this floor. If you are reading this message, then you are a resident of the upper flat. Due to the terrible situation, the city now suffers from the commonly called devil's fever. We had no choice but to seal off the upper flats and force residents to stay in their homes. Perhaps if the young man in room B hadn't spent this time with certain people, you wouldn't be confined with no way to go outside. All of the neighbors wish the sick a speedy recovery. Yeah, if only the asshole in room B didn't pull this BS. Please understand that you're all fearful, so if you need food or water, we won't be able to help you. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought that was going to be like, we're all scared, and if you need help, we can get you food and water. Uh, no, it's actually the opposite. If you need help, don't come to us. We, we aren't doing that. Please do not. <laughs> if you need anything, please hesitate to contact us. Please don't do it. Um, those of us who are still healthy wish you all the best, and please remember that we should all behave in a peaceful, civil manner. Well, everyone's dead. 
according to the game's lore already. So um, it doesn't matter what any of these fucking people say. They're all dead. Everyone's dead. For the attention of the young single man who lives in this flat, the community organization has received complaints of noises and shrieking at all hours of the night and during the day. This situation cannot continue. Your neighbors have to work long hours in the vineyards and therefore need their rest. If the shouting and noises continue by tomorrow, we'll be forced to notify the authorities. We remind you that if the authorities find any kind of illegal drugs in your home, you will be evicted. Joanne. You guys think he was doing the... the but he, you guys think he was, like, doing the deed? Or do you think he was killing people? Guess we'll find out in about three, two, one. Don't know what that's a key to. God knows I wish I did. Either way, they're making us go back through Spooky Zone. Probably the front door. Now, the front door said it was locked from the outside. I think. Either that was the last building I was in. I don't know. All these buildings sort of meld together. Okay. Well, uh, we know where we're going. Oh, there's a sound. A sound happened. Yeah, locked from the other side. Which means it's the door here. There's a door. There's another door that has a lock on it. On this floor. We're not going outside anytime soon, chat. Hello? Is this the room of uh, the man from 2B? The one with all the screaming? Floor B? Floor 2? Room B? The one with the screaming? You have lovely tiling. Oh, it is nighttime. That's lovely. Anyways. Hello, is this where you did murder? Why does this room exist? No, 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 no. Why does this room exist? Why is it? I'm gonna sit here and let the flashlight turn back on properly. To confuse you? No, no, no. It's to activate the monster spawn. I guess we're leaving. Back outside. Back out to the fucking zone. It's nice to be outside of the fucking houses for a minute. That's for sure. Even if this is like narrow corridors. Hang on, I'm gonna let my flashlight... Hello? Fucking anyone here? Another one of these. Why? They keep doing that. Why do they keep doing that? Why are all these doors locked? Okay. Really? We're doing this today, man? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is actually fucked up as all hell. Okay, so side thing to like fucking candles. I'm getting my battery back by cheesing this guy hard. I'm cheesing this guy hard. I'm cheesing this guy hard. Upside down candles. Next one. C thing to right side up candles. Oh, they're both right side up candles. No, they're just upside down. They're just supposed to be upside down. It's upside down. They're upside down. They're both supposed to be upside down candles. They're right side up candles. I don't care. We just gotta find, we'll just brute force the last one. We're brute force the last one. Also candles. Unless we see it. I'm not seeing it. I'm stuck on a thing. Everything's fine, this is fine. He's not even scary. 
What are you so scared of? It's just a guy with no head. God. Bronco! Fuck me, dude! Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I don't really have time to do it all at one go. I wish I could just see the last one. But I don't. I haven't seen it in my chaotic panicking. So I've been kind of winging it. Pull it. Please! Please! Please, bro! Please! Come on, dude! It's just combinations, dude! Give it to me for free, dude! It's all candles! It was all candles! It's all, it was all, all of it was candles. It's been a pleasure, jackass, but I'm out of here. Please. Please! Please! The light's going out, the light's going out, the light's going out. I'm not gonna be able to see. Fuck off! I didn't have much of a choice, I don't think, in that one. I, th I think that was the only play I really had. Fucking faulty-ass goddamn levers. You fall off the bridge into a mosquito-infested pond of water. With your last ounce of strength, you swim to the water's edge. Once you regain your composure, you realize that everything is completely silent, no sign of your pursuer. You lost your lantern in the water. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> well, good riddance to it. Your head is still hurting, so you decide to rest a few minutes by the water. The pain is unbearable, little by little. You get up and decide to keep going. Cats became extinct from the capital centuries ago. Luckily, you can still find photos of cats if you search around. Nito, I saw a cat earlier, though. Remember? We saw one, like, run by. Ah, there is a uh, another power up that would give me invisibility for 20 or 30 seconds. Somewhere in there. I think that is actually one of the cat photos. See, like shaped like a photo. I think that's a cat photo. Well, uh, I'm already at a dead end. Oh, it might want me to go that way. Okay, well, uh, it's a little dark now, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of want that fucking cat photo. Can I get to that easily? Not really. I kind of really want that cat photo. I'm not getting that cat photo. We're leaving. Ooh, I bet this is going to be a nice vista chat. Get ready for, like, a screenshot. Get ready for a screen. Oh, never mind. It's a fucking dirty cave. Wait, we've been here. Wait. We've been here. Oh, that was just me. That's the box. That was just the box. Let's check this first. Some dirty trash clothes. 
Warning! Access to the canals is completely closed due to the notorious situation caused by the devil's fevers. Use of all canals and public channels is strictly prohibited. Passing through any interior public space is prohibited under penalty of death. If the passage through one of these spaces is necessary for you to reach your residence, request a passage permit at any military headquarters. Reminder, free movement in any public space is strictly prohibited during the first four days of the week. It is limited to necessary activities related to health or work. Yeah, Chad, I mean, I'm a streamer, so obviously I'm very important. And I can walk wherever I want, whenever I want, because, like, you know, I can, I'm always streaming. I just have my phone out all the time. I'm always fucking streaming. I'm gonna check over here again now that I have this new key. Maybe there's something new. Nope, still a fucking shithole. Well, chat, we're going back to the mansion. At night. At fucking night. Yeah, I think my boat's gone. Brazil. Brazil. Boat? What's, uh, what's wrong with my boat? What's wrong with my, why is my boat doing that? Boat? Fuck! Shit! Oh, damn it! Well, bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Don't you just hate it when you go on a fucking wine fume nightmare trip to pick up your Craigslist ordered wine and then you breathe in so much wine fume that your boat becomes a flying fucking like gravity defying top and just spins away? I can't swim. All right, chat, we're going back upstairs to the mansion. We got a new key and a new key means new chances and new opportunities. That boat's actually just gonna be doing that. <laughs> Wait, hello? Uh, who built this? This isn't how it's, hello? Okay, we're not going that way. This game sucks. This game sucks. And I'm sick of acting like it's good. Game sucks. Sucks. Oh, this game's bad, guys. <laughs> All right, let's find out where we have to go. I've been actually really enjoying this game, if you can't tell. Um, for a one-man project kind of deal. This crap is really impressing me. I can't go this way. All right, we gotta find out where to go. We got a key. I didn't see any ways to go in the canal. But I'm gonna do a double check to be 100% sure. All right, man. Back to the uh, canal section. Okay, we got some kind of fucking sh shitty ghost in the water. Not really super pleased about that. All right, we're in. Let's take the lower path. I prefer the lower path. It feels safer most of the time. Hey, is there one over there that can move this fucking barrel? Go around to the higher path. This is a this is a walk. This is like a barrel you need to progress. Then I'm getting real sick of thinking I see headless guy. He's not even that scary, so I don't know why they keep jump scaring. Me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, headless guy! Pause the game, pause the game, pause the game, pause the game. These devs are cruel, this is fucked up. The, these, this dev keeps doing this thing where they throw a really shitty scare at you so that they can then make you be like, haha, that was trash, that wasn't anything at all. And then seconds later, they do the actual scare to fuck with you. They're just laughing it up. This is like, this is like a fucking mean game.
I have to use the barrel. I needed the box. I needed the box. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Brazil. Brazil. It's not really Brazil, but I don't know why this place reminds me of Brazil. I know it's not Brazil. I, uh, chat, you gotta believe me. I know it's not fucking Brazil, it's okay. I'm going back into that room though. I don't wanna go out here yet. I feel like there's more to see in there. And there was like crap to jump on. And I could probably get that cool picture. I sort of ran through this place cause I was scared of the guy. But I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if there's items. Keys, maybe. Lore. That's a good log. You know, you know it's a good fire-burning log when it stays lit forever. No matter what. Okay? So, this is a really fucked up thing. If you decided not to tear down those boards and instead double back to try to find another way that wasn't boarded, oh, that's fucked. Okay, well, uh, let's go downstairs. I want to check out that thing. Not the guy's gone. I, at least I fucking hope. Yeah, they unboarded it. Is the box still here? Nope, box is gone. I fucked it. I was going to use this box to uh, go get the cat picture that I think is up there, but uh, I blew it. That's gone. Because I threw it into the guy, like, because I got scared of him. This game, oh man. I, chat, I genuinely stand by. I mean, I haven't beaten the game, so most horror games end up getting shitty in the last half, like, half of it anyways. So, God knows. But I genuinely stand by the map design this game being fucking masterclass. I think, I think the layout and design of the world in this horror game is, like, fucking, like, primo shit. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Chad, these are the bridges they were talking about in the, uh, in those papers that they, the, the people in the slums stormed to try to get out of the disease zone. Uh, and they all jumped into the river when they were dying and were taken by the falls. These falls aren't that big in the grand scheme of falls, though. People might survive this. I'm not saying it'd be easy, but it's not huge. Try it. I lived, bitch. <laughs> I lived. Ha! <laughs> Here we are in the slums. There's a cat picture over there, but we have to go all the way to the other side of this gigantic walk to do it. What a thrill. We really can't go any faster. This is actually fucking... Oh, it even fools you for a second into thinking you can. It's gonna be worth it. Yes, I could have probably taken the lower path, but I'm assuming that it'll punish me for that later. Are you kidding me? God damn it. God fucking damn it. Wait, I can't even get in. I think I need like, chat, this game is sort of designed like a Metroidvania in some ways. I genuinely believe I need like an item to get in there. You know what I mean? Like, there is some backtracking built into this game. I feel like I need items to do some of these things. I need, like, the morph ball. Yeah, I need to I need to be able to turn to a ball like Samus. 
Can you reach? Can you not reach your hand through? I got T Rex hands, so no. I actually can. Okay, so we got another shape thing. And this very pretty bridge. You guys think Gun Guy comes out right now? Oops, did I do that? Oops. Oops, man, did I? Oops, oopsie daisy. Oops. It got really fucking quiet when I got to this side. Key. Okay, so that thing goes to... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Triangle to weird squiggle circle. That fucking thing to uh, eyeball. And the other one's probably inside the gun guy's house that we probably have right now. It's not even like... This guy is so easy. Oops. Oh, the triangle thing isn't even one of them. Well, that thing goes to that, which we already knew. So, uh... Gonna have to get the rest of them inside the scary house. Oh, never mind, it's dead fucking end. Hit. Wait, really? Is it really just the... Can't even get it. Hmm, well then I'm missing the other symbols I need. And they're probably around. Some were extremely obvious, and I'm an idiot. We do another lap here. Ah! Oh, really? Oh, really? I fucked up. Ah! Really? 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 This gives me a chance to consider the possibility that some of the symbols might be in the sewer system, which is why I feel like the point of that might have partially been. I'm gonna quadruple check that. That or the box in the firm, uh, in the uh, flaming room is, oh, never mind. Okay, well that answers that one. Uh, let's go back across the fucking thing. Really, 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 really. Man, these guys work fast, the construction team. Yeah, no, they, they, they get it. All right. Okay, yeah, this is open now. You know, this place is a shithole. I agree with that. What's this? First, they blamed us for the devil's fevers. Typical immigrants and poor people always get the blame. But don't any of you dare stop working at the winery while cases of the fevers keep going up and up. Then we rebelled, destroying all the bottles of wine we could find to damage the economy. Then they came looking for the leaders and organizers, so we stained our sheets with the wine and hung them from our balconies. If you judge one, judge us all. Then we were confined to our ghetto. No way of getting more food or water. A dead dog can't spread rabies. They drove us to insanity. They starved us to death. We had no choice but to take up arms and try to get out by crossing the bridges by force. They massacred us. But many saw that jumping from our windows into the river was an option, even though it meant risking their lives at the waterfall. Many did. Whole families with children, even the elderly who couldn't swim. The alternative was dying of hunger. Finally, the worst came. Cannibalism. Dude. All I hear is like whining. You know what I mean? <laughs> Psycho streamer says some insane bullshit and falls into another like really depressing uh, shot. Okay. Um. Am I ever gonna be allowed to like function again? Cause whenever this game sends you through one bullshit fall, it sends you through like five and then I'm like, it's like a fucking, it's like a snowball of just bullshit. Hep. Yikes. 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 Yo, this kid's got a big head though. Kid got a big head. 
Jesus, kid. Big ass head. I got bullied. Don't worry, kid. I had a big head, too, and I also got bullied. That's why I'm allowed to say that. Then my head got small. And this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. That not, that never good. <laughs> you don't want... You don't want to go into a... Hello? Are you a charred corpse? Or are you a monster? That's a charred corpse. How it's charred, I don't know. Gang, this is so fucking good, though. This is real good. They're coming. The cannibals are at our wall. I can hear them tearing it down little by little on the other side. My daughters were braver than me and tried their luck jumping into the river. I hope they survived the waterfall and don't have any more of those psychotic attacks. I'm a coward. I don't have the guts to do it. I just want to die in peace. If I have to die, at least I'll do it with my favorite song playing. The really sad, scary one that sets in a really good mood for a horror game. If I die... Position me in such a way that if anyone ever plays a horror game about my death, they'll find me in a really spooky position with like a really grim song playing with built-in jump scare stings, ideally. Okay? Ow, my fucking leg. I don't think I was the first person to fall down this. All right. Okay. Nice. Good shit. I think there's gonna be a Campbell down here. I think it's gonna be mostly sleepy skeletons. I mean, that's a good stabbing stake right there, though, chat. Look at the fucking point on that stake. That's a spear. If there are vampires in this game, I got them. Dead to rights. But it's probably just gonna be a lot of gun guy. After this, I bet headless guy's starting to get his. He's had his time in the sun. I think it's gun guy from here on out. Speaking of guns, oh, that's just a broom. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I was about to get a gun. Anything? No. Another cat photo. I'm gonna be real. My biggest complaint with this game, and this sounds like a wild one is that bubble needs to go away. <laughs> that bubble needs to go away. The bubble needs to go away. Get rid of the bubble. It's too much. I didn't check the bathroom. It's such a tiny nitpick, but it keeps distracting me a ton. Maybe there's an option in the settings to turn off. Ah, uh, well. Oh no, they died trying to high five. That would turn me into a ghost. Okay, another one of those. Now it's getting a little consistent. I think we're entering Cannibal Alley, chat. This is the alley where, I don't know if, it's ob if it wasn't obvious when I said it, where cannibals live. Uh, to all those who want to listen, take down the wine-stained sheets and blankets from our balconies and windows now. Yes, I do support what they represent. I'm not saying this for ideological reasons. I've noticed something. All of my neighbors who have gone crazy in confinement had wine-soaked sheets hanging. Ah, yes. The wine fumes. I, too, have had psychotic breaks from the fumes of the most delectable vintage. You need to be careful with the fumes. These people have been gassing themselves. <laughs> when my husband started acting paranoid and psychotic, I let the blanket fall in the river by accident. Two hours later, he was back to normal. We both still have a fever, but we don't have hallucinations anymore. Take down the sheets and blankets. Take them down now. Scared of wine? <laughs> I'd expect no less from pores. Yes. 
expect no less from them. Wine these nuts, says chat member. Nice one, dude. Really good. Hey, is how long does this go? You guys, all right, a monster comes in three, two, one. No fucking way we don't get a monster on this staircase. No fucking way. Or it's a Bowser staircase. Okay. All right. 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 And reverse. Ah! Ah, we've stumbled upon another wine realm. Mm, yes. This is one of the greatest of achievements of any wine appreciator. I broke my fucking leg doing that one. Snow's a little dense. Uh... Man, imagine uh, watching this and really hating the Ah uh, Yes Orson Welles thing. What's up, pussy? Yeah, how many times you been here, you little shit? <laughs> I'm not scared of you. Where'd he go? He's gone. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? This might be hard. Oh no. This is gonna suck. Big time. I don't know the layout of this fucking place. It's too snowy. Okay, so Squiggle goes to that thing. Have we even seen Squiggle yet? No. I'm gonna backtrack for a minute and make sure I don't miss any of these. This is gonna be rough. This snow's a bit strong. I feel like there isn't any spots this deep in, though. But holy hell, it is hard to see. I mean, that's the point, but, you know, it still pisses me off. I'm like, ah, oh, my eyes. All right. Let's uh, try to find these things then. So we know that Squiggle goes to weird backward C with a line in it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, so that also goes to backward C. And I do know where that one is. I'm gonna backtrack and get that one. I'm trying to- I'm really hoping that Spooky Man doesn't show up. For my sanity's sake. That wasn't the one I wanted. Oh, here are the other two. Squiggle goes to C with a thing in it. This is cursed as shit, chat. I don't know how else to put it. This is a high tier, concentrated curse. Also C with a thing in it. Okay, so we got the two ones with C's. We're missing two still. But we know that they're both right next to each other in the same spot. Okay. That goes to Fork. And I already lost where this is. Okay. This is Fork. That means technically if I knew where the lever was, I could brute force it. But I don't know where the lever is, so that's probably not happening. Oh, there's the lever. I'm guessing the last poster is probably on the top of this stairwell, though. So I'm going to check that. Oh, no, it's right here. Also fork. Okay. And no demon. So far. Wait, where was that one? One I actually needed? It was like right here, right? Fork. And the actual door is like here. Nope, I'm lost. 
Forget it. I don't know where I am, and it's snowy. Yep. Oh, got it. Here he comes. Here he comes. This is actually my least favorite wine. In the whole... What was the point of it? Wait, why did I open that? Why did I open this? It doesn't go to anything. You can go right around it. What was the point of that? Why did they make me do that? <sighs> yes. <laughs> it all makes sense now, chat. I'm being, I'm being fucked with. The devs are laughing it up. Everyone's laughing at old me. Having a good fucking chuckle. As I suffer in the snow zone, cold and alone. Maybe, and this is gonna sound like a crazy one. Maybe I'm supposed to running sprint through that area. You know what I mean? Now that it's open, I do like a leap of faith. That's not the answer. That's not the answer. It's fucking cold. All these are locked in. There's no more reason to go that way. I guess I'll backtrack. For now. Have I ever told all of you I actually don't like wine? I think it's not. I don't really like it. I'm going to be honest. I think it's kind of bad. VOD viewers, skip to the next game. Okay? <laughs> Skip like the rest of the stream, you know, you don't need to catch any of this one. I don't, you see chat, here's the thing about obscure, like, indie horror games. I'm out on my own out here, chat. There's no, uh, there's no help in me. I'm in the fucking wild. I'm actually out alone. Keep trying to climb this. But I'm not entirely sure what the point of coming up here is. Because there's only... I guess I can be a fucking smart boy and crawl through the goddamn easily crawlable hole. Wow, that's fucking embarrassing. That door didn't matter. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, chat. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, they, ooh. That's fucking actually messed up. Chat, they literally designed it in such a way that you're going to just see the fucking poster and be like, oh, no. I've been conditioned to believe I have to do that every time. Anyways, I continued going upstairs. Ow, okay, I went downstairs. Okay. LOL. LMAO. Better luck next time. Loser. RIP. The third sea of wine has been cleared. Hello? Really don't like gun guy. But I'm going down there. My fucking leg is broken. Again. There's the bridge. Mandatory confinement under penalty of death after the recent uprisings in view of the rise in cases of devil's fever in this neighborhood. All residents must be confined to their homes until further notice. No expectations. Anyone who violates this order will be found and executed. In addition, the hanging of wine stained sheets or other similar textiles from windows or balconies is strictly prohibited. If they are not taken down within 24 hours, this will be considered an act of rebellion and sedition. Authorities will be authorized to shoot anyone standing from these windows or balconies. Good behavior and strict obedience of these directives will be taken into account in the future when the bandages. Bosk Winery resumes operations. Those that obey these orders without question will be rewarded with higher salaries. Wow, isn't that nice of them? 
Things are moving around inside my house. It's happened since the new merchant came into the city. At first, I thought it was my cat, but it only happens when the merchant isn't working. I confronted him about it, but he had the nerve to call me crazy. I can't do business with him anymore. I'm going to hide in the shadows and wait for him there. He'll have to come back sooner or later. Something weird going on with the fucking merchant. So, let me guess, this is timed. Or not. Okay. Don't fucking like that. I need to drink water. Hang on. Yo, Dragon Gamer 625 with a hundred dollars. It's been five years since I started watching a channel. This is thanks for all the laughs. Thank you for giving me money. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you watching the channel. Thanks. I'm gonna get shot. Here it comes. Here it comes. I need this. This is more important. Hang on, this is more important than that. Whatever's happening over there is more is less important than getting the cat. I'm getting that fucking picture. This one, I'm actually getting. I got him. It's gonna be some parkour. It's not gonna be easy. I needed another barrel. You're telling me I needed another barrel. You need all of the barrels. I need to carry multiple barrels up there to get that fucking painting. That better be a good goddamn cat. This better be a real good cat. Oh my god. I need, I need it to be vertical. Or maybe horizontal. Okay. Wait, I need it to be on the edge so I can jump around this. Oh my god. I give this... I don't care much about the cat. Oh. Okay. Uh... What have we here? Victory! The rebel leaders publicly executed. This morning, the captured leaders of the uprising in the slums were executed and hung from stakes planted in the same river they had tried to cross. The governor hopes they will serve as an example to anyone trying to escape from confinement in the ghetto, and that others will think twice before trying something similar again. The lack of solidarity shown to their healthy fellow citizens cannot go unpunished. The bodies have been hung so that all the inhabitants of the ghetto can see it where, as they fall apart and rot. Uh, some of the organizers who were injured but not killed were also hung alive, but they're expected to die within two or three days from lack of water and food, violence, and the full weight of the law. Love, Joanne. Joanne, can you chill the... Frick out, what the fuck? After the recent uprisings in view of the rise in cases of devil's fever in this neighborhood, residents have been confined to their homes in addition to the hang of wine stained sheets. Okay, we've already read this. I keep going this way for now. I can technically go down, but I don't know how to get back up if I go down. At all. And honestly, that place kind of scary. I'm gonna go this way. Wait, I don't have the lever for this. Fuck! They're making me go down. <laughs> Frick! They, a they actually managed to do it. They're making me, they made me go down so I could see all these really depressing bodies hanging from the... I don't like this place, chat. I don't even, I don't even really like the girl I'm trying to get this wine for. She's kind of mean to me. She's kind of mean. I don't even think it's that, that good of a deal with the amount of work I'm putting into this. But whatever, you know, whatever. Wait, the wine isn't for you. It's supposed to be wine that can heal anyone and heal this disease we're all dealing with. And I was getting it from my wife or something. I don't know. 
Exports of the Bandus Bosque wine break records. 150 years ago, the ba -ba 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 built the new winery below the father statue. At that time, it was controversial. Six years later, the work was completed and operations began. Now we're starting to reap the rewards of that time. Exportation of the first bottle of aged wine from the new winery has begun. The velvety texture and fruity notes of the red wine have made it everyone's favorite week after week. Records continue to be broken in the exports and sales. In fact, the only reason more wine isn't being exported has to do with logistical challenges, which will be solved soon. The rail system has not been enough to keep up, and some of the rail cars have overheated. This has made it necessary to use alternate routes not the ones specifically created to connect the winery to the city and port. Some employees, mostly immigrants from the slums, have complained about all of the unpaid overtime work they are made to work. This newspaper condemns these selfish attitudes that do not look, for the, look out for the common good. The economic boon that will come from this from these record exports will improve everyone's quality of life, so we have to assume that small sacrifices will need to be made, such as longer work hours. They're getting paid in exposure. Gamers. Rise. Well, here I go, getting myself locked in a fucking zone again. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Nah, don't fuck with me. Where is he? Yeah, I know your deal. Where is he? Come out! I know how we play this! What, you gonna appear on the other side of the bridge? <laughs> I just got shot. Okay. On guard, motherfucker. I count two more shots, bitch. You're a little pussy, and when I get there, I'm gonna punch your face off! Yeah, that's right! What? What? How did he... Chad, I'm starting to think everything happening in this game is really in my head. Chad, I'm really starting to think that's not even... That guy's not even real. None of them are real. I'm starting to think none of them are real. And it's just been all this fucking... All these wine fumes. You know what I mean? I think I, I think I might have been, I, think I might be huffing too much of this wine. I think I might have been huffing a little bit too much of the wine lately. It's making me a little loopy. <laughs> making me a little crazy. Is the wine real tomato? Oh, the wine is real. I paid $30 for this bottle. I'm going to get it. The wine is real. This sucks. Was oh, it gonna be wild dogs next that chase me around? Where's the next problem? Big wild pack of dogs in the fucking sewers? Where's my lever? That's a human spine or big, big jaw. Wait a minute, that is a jaw. Or is that a spine? Whatever it is, someone's been snacking and it's not this rat. Or that rat. Think it's headless guy? I've been here. Oh, wait, have I? Hang on. Have I, though? Have I? I have not. Well, that's good. It's gonna take me a little bit to get this down the stairs. I'm not about to drop it down something. I don't know where it's going. But, hey, it's good that we have it. We can use this. You should? Nah, we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. Please. I smell helpless man? Nah, he's not allowed in this county. We actually messaged him. He's not allowed to come over here. We've left his part of the game. Now we're up to a spooky person hiding in coffin. Part. Oh, I really should've just dropped it, huh? <laughs> really could've and should've just dropped the lever. I'm gonna check this while that stuff's moving. 
locked from the other side. Spooky coffin zone I can't really do much with yet. Also, I forgot to let the thing move, so it's just been sitting there. The missing texture on the lever is really distracting me and pulling me out of the game. Okay, it's back. Keep her going. Keep her going. Time to clip out of the map and break the entire game. Keep her going. Keep it going. I actually like preemptively did this puzzle, right? That's unbelievable. I like immediately knew it was gonna make me do this. I bet the dev didn't account for this and now I'm gonna like break the whole game. Bye. Oh yeah, there's no way this doesn't break the game. Bye. Like the gun guy's like wondering where I am right now because he's waiting in like a tunnel somewhere and now I just fucking completely bamboozled him. I bamboozled everyone. I am dead, I'm dead. I just got my face shot off and I'm dead. Oh my god. I'm here, Nobel. You go ahead, you try to take me- <laughs> After getting kicked, everything goes blurry. You start choking on your own blood, okay? It's just narrating my death. <laughs> you fucking die, the end. The dark figure in front of you is completely still as your life slips away, okay? Suddenly, the dark figure grabs you and starts dragging you through the rails. You pass out. After a while, maybe he's my friend somehow. After a while, you wake up. You are naked. He's not my friend. Someone has healed your wounds. He's my friend. There's a note on the wall. Okay, he might be my friend. Maybe he sh thought I was a monster and then he shot me. And then he was like, wait a minute, this guy's a normal guy. Look, at first I came to... Alright, hang on, hang on. Hold up. This guy might be friendly. Look, at first I came to the capital to save crazy people like you. But now, I've taken a liking to hunting and killing your kind. Alright, hang on. Hang on, chat. You do have to look at his handwriting. <laughs> but, I thought twice about it. I've decided not to kill you, yet. I'm having a good time with you. Wait. This guy hand wrote this letter, and it definitely says, I'm having a good time time with you. You're welcome for healing your wounds. I have the last unopened bottle of red wine. Do you want it? I'll wait for you in the wine cellars. You're still delirious, but if you manage to snap out of it and find me, I'll give it to you. I left you the key that opens the door in the desk next to the pillar. I'm waiting for you here, AR. Son of a bitch. He's got the last bottle of wine. He's got my bottle. I ordered it. I'll kill him! The sun rises on the last day in hell. Chad, I'm looking at the amount of achievements left in this game. I don't think we're, uh, I think this is a trick ending when we get to this. Don't let him fool you, okay? Don't let this guy fool you just yet. Something's off. Uh, again, though, um, it's funny that this guy, this dev, made a better, like, environmental storytelling horror game than the Amnesia devs could. <laughs> I don't know. I find this game's environment and world so fucking good and potent. Like, just coming out here, out, out here, and just seeing this actually fucking, like, evoked, like, a weird emotion in me, like, come out. I like this a lot. Don't know if you've been able to tell. Especially considering, like, we're back in places we've seen before. I'm pretty sure we've been to this exact spot or, like, near it and, like, seen it through, like, fucking walls and stuff. Yeah. We keep looping back in the areas we've technically been near. Uh, hello? Oh. 
So we're at the winemaker then. We're at the wine place. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. It might be near the end of the game then. Because I was expecting that, of course, the end of the game would be underneath, like, where the wine is actually made because that's where all the wine problems are. So this makes sense now. We're at the place where the wine's made. I'm sort of confused why there are levers over there for, um, like a cart. Gotta find a cart for it, I think. Yeah, what's all this for? What's the point of this? That's a photo of a cat right there. God damn it. I'm never gonna get it. This might actually just be like copy and pasted like the path and it just has these naturally because I don't think you can just you know break down these big barriers maybe you can but I wouldn't be shocked if it was just like hey we copy and pasted a bunch of the fucking train tracks to make this place look like a train track place so it just has like the stuff that people would use anyways here even though there's no reason for this to go yeah this is nothing that's just a distraction it's just there to like tell you hey this is how they used to transfer the wine Memo from the funeral company regarding the work being done at the winery. We are sad to inform you that with the utmost respect that we must immediately stop all recovery of bodies from the Bazbadoc Bandi... Can I get... All right, hang on. I got to do this right at least one time. Bani de Bosque. Bani de Bosque. Bani de Bosque. Bani de Bosque. The Bani de Bosque. I think that's it. Bani de Bosque. Dude, it'd be cute if there wasn't a line of, like, f fucking 12 corpses next to you. Shut up. Stop. Some of our employees are beginning to present the same symptoms as the winery workers. In our absence, we recommend that all dead bodies must be burned. We understand that our decision to stop funeral services in the winery will bring consequences. Even so, as a gesture of respect to our governor and above all the bandits... I already lost it. I lost the plot on that pronunciation. I'm giving up. Uh, we will not let anyone know what's occurring in the winery. Wait, what? I feel like there's something going on that isn't just like the sickness we've been hearing about, chat. Really? Okay. Don't close behind me. I'll get PO'd. Gunman! AG or whatever your name is come on out that one is as good as mine that's a nice chandelier to have in your wine place oh there's another one I'm coming in Where is this some bitch? I bet I find a gun and I get to kill him. That'd be cool. I see him. He's right there. I just like walked right in front of him. He definitely saw me. <laughs> he a hundred percent saw me. <laughs> I'm naked. Yes, I am naked, chat. I'm completely butt naked right now, stumbling around with my schlong out. Just sees this naked guy stumbled through the fucking thing. All right, man. Between you and me, that cat picture up there, I kind of want it. So can I? Can you make? Can you give me your word you'll hold your fire if I go for it, man? No, he's not shooting at me. Hey. Is that the wine? <laughs> you got the stuff, huh? You may just be confused. <laughs> Awfully bold of you to... Seriously? There are levers for this somewhere? 
Fucking asshole. All right. I will turn these off and then get you. You're real quiet, you know that? Old man. <sighs> You're making a big mistake. I see the levers now. There's one on each of the walls. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> Keep that wine nice and uh, unopened and continue to age it for me, all right, pussy? I'll be back for the wine. The wine, yes. So you know what I think what this game could have done without, though? The, uh, the prefix of the name, Horror Tales. I, uh, think, um, I think the game could have just been called The Wine. I think Horror Tales is going to confuse people, because there's no first Horror Tales. Unless it's like the start of an anthology, and by God, what an anthology it's going to be. Uh, if this is the dev's first, like, real fucking horror game project? Bro. <laughs> Bro. A excellent start. Oh, really? Really, man? Oh, now we're shooting. All right. It's like, yeah, what's good? Okay, you're already down one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Gonna need that one. Paid tw I paid twelve dollars for that on Craigslist, man. That's mine. That's my wine to have. Can I just burn your ammo like this? I mean, I can do this all day, actually. I'm gonna have to reload eventually. <laughs> Yo. All right, let's get this over with, man. Um. This isn't really what I signed up for. What's, um... What's down there, though? This isn't... Guys, it seems those levers also activate something here. Something... Deeper in the depths of the winery. Beneath the statue. The dark secret of the winery that we have kept hidden. All these... Oh, you already lost. You already lost. Oh my god, you're cringe. LOL. Ow. Did the gate over there open again? It did. Okay, I can double back now, I think. Ow. I knew I was going to take that hit. Good news is our character heals, and thank god he does. Thank God he fucking does. Wait, I can't go this way, but I can. Wait, how do I get out? Oh, I have to go into the pit. That's the only way out. Ouch, I have to go in the pit. Okay, we're going into the spooky pit. Sorry, guys, I thought that'd be like what we'd... I thought we were going to go up to him, and we were going to get him, and then the wine was going to be empty still. He was going to break it at the last second and then laugh, like an evil man laugh. And then, like, chuckle and then have a heart attack and die. Tomato running naked with multiple bullet wounds. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of a badass. That's what the wine does. I'm so fucking drunk I don't feel pain. I've been drunk the whole trip. That's that's my secret. You guys think fucking head guy's gonna come in? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> really? <laughs> I was so fucking sick of this BS. That's a dead end. Ow, my leg. Really? He, dude, this guy doesn't even attack you. Did you guys hear that? He slapped me. He fucking slapped me twice. He went, <laughs> he slapped me. <laughs> He's slapping my naked body as I run away. Give it another listen. Hang on, I want to heal first. Give it a listen. It's like just, yeah, it's like these tiny fucking slaps. It's not even hard slaps. It's like, and my guy's taking critical damage. Ow!
Where to next? Okay, there's a lever over there. Ah, another wine zone. <laughs> you did try as hard as you. Okay. Man, this wine better be good. Really? Really? Ah. 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 Shoot! God damn it! I'm fine. It's okay. That side's blocked. Through here. Oh my god. I have to get a lever now. I have to get a lever now. This is... My guy is uh, not doing... I got a key. Psyched. Actually psyched. Psyched again. I mean, that that's actually pretty... Okay, um, I got a key. I need a lever. Look at that. Key probably opens this door, which lets us go into a basement, which continues this nightmare. Okay, circle goes to upside down hill. Or sorry, normal looking hill. There's a flashlight, that's cool. We're getting everything. It's really giving us everything at the very end. This is definitely the end of the game then, I'm guessing. Or this game escalates to an unbelievable level. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, all the spots are like hidden. And now all, okay, all the panels have now appeared. Let's start. Fortunately, this guy's not that scary. Okay, so what's the first one? The Omega symbol. Omega. Omega. Red. Still haven't seen. My leg is shattered again. I, I, I know what the circle one is, but I haven't seen the circle spinner. Where is this guy? It's right there. Hi. He's like an annoying old man. You know what I mean? Omega. Wait, I can't interact with it. Chat wouldn't let me interact with it. That's not good. Why is it not let me interact with it? Stop fucking slapping me. Now it's letting me interact with this one. Omega to T symbol. It's like a real, it was just a weird uh, spot. Chat, that was the problem. I was like in a weird angle. That was all. Next one is that thing. I still haven't seen the others at all. Uh, there are none other in the basement. Okay, so I, let's do the circle. Let's find the circle thing. Please. Oh, lever. That's helpful. It's gonna take me fucking ages to get upstairs with this fucking thing. What with this guy being a little rascal. This is gonna be a whole kind of nightmare. Stop running. Why are you running? Shut up, old man. Why are you chasing, huh? It just slaps you. Where did it fall? There it is. It's not, sometimes he's not even like in range of me and he's swinging anyways. This guy's fucking idiot. Probably because he doesn't have a head. Nah, nah, no time, no time, no time. One more lap. One more lap. Here we go. Well, that probably has the rest of the stuff we need to get this puzzle done. Oh, good. Okay, so circle goes to that thing which I fucking whiffed. Sir, please. Sir, please. Sir, sir, sir? Sir?
I have not seen the triangle one, but I see this one. That goes to the squiggle. Okay. I haven't seen the triangle interactable at all. I bet it's upstairs. Hey, at least I've got this guy down to a science. He's not really scary, you know what I mean? He's sort of like a fucking loser. But I'm not worried about him. Triangle is squiggle, but I haven't seen the triangle squiggle. So, like, apply it. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's a different one. That's a circle one. What is a circle one? I remember seeing it. I don't remember if I did it right. I need to check it again. God, there's a lot happening here. Okay, triangle's right here. All right, triangle's there. We know where all of them are. I just need to get them all down right. Okay, circle was T, and I moved it off of it like an idiot. Where was the triangle that I just saw earlier? Let me go fix circle quick. Oh, wait, I said it to T. Oh, that's correct now. Where did I see the triangle? Am I an idiot? I feel like I, I know I saw it. I, 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 I did see it. I just don't remember. Probably upstairs. Tomato, please. Chat, shut the fuck up. I'm being chased by a fucking guy with no head. And he keeps slapping me. Listen. That's not fun. It's hard to focus when that's happening. So shut the hell up. Little bitch. Why just freestyle it and brute force it now? I mean, that's actually probably easier at this point considering everything else is set, right? Oh, code. All right, next triangle. Everything else is good. It's just a triangle. Tomato. Please, man. Got it. Easier than finding triangle, baby. See you later, asshole. Why? Really? This room again? Oh, I don't have to, like, do any events, though, this time. This time, I just have to open it. I'm gonna do a lap before I run in. Get my battery back. The cursed triangle room. Bye. Later. Um. They took my flashlight. What the fuck is going on? Oh, this is wine fumes. Oh, <laughs> the wine fumes. I have finally slipped into a catatonic state. I completed the cellar challenge. Is it raining wine? <laughs> heaven, truly heaven. This is what I always really wanted. All right, dude. All right, asshole. One last. Hey, I'm going to check this again because this is still here and it's still throwing me off. No, we're good. Asshole, all right, one last time. That or I am, I might just be totally crazy. That guy's fine. I've lost it, and I'm stumbling in naked and like feral. And he's just gonna instantly gun me down because I'm obviously it's raining wine. That's not supposed to happen. Took my flashlight away too. Wait a minute, this is all like okay, we can still go this way. There it is. The vintage. The, my, my, my $7 wine. Don't trap me in here the second I pick it up. A full unopened bottle of wine. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just kill me? <laughs> you don't understand how much I, how much work I put into getting that. Don't leave. Don't fucking leave. <laughs> 
That was my wine. <laughs> I did it all right. I did everything right. I... I'll, I'll kill you. I swear to God, I'm streaming. I'm streaming. You can't kill me. I'm streaming. I'm like... Several years later. On the peak of Wine Mountain. Guessing I am the guy with the gun. in wine heaven. This is Mother Mountain, I'm guessing is what we're on, not Father Mountain. This is some Bloodborne story. Well, there's my hat. Albert Roig's hat. To the apothecaries and healers, uh, for your efforts in the fight against the devil's fever to Albert Roy who risks who risked his life traveling to the ice the desolated capital all on his own to save the most delirious infected persons he found 47 and was able to save eight to the wise men whose discoveries were crucial in ending the devil's fever dude this guy killed me fuck him <laughs> I just wanted my fucking wine New pools of wine discovered eight years later. A group, of, a group of youths have discovered undrained standing pools of wine in some of the capitals rightly used underground tunnels eight years after the devil's fever ended. During the first stages of the pandemic, when no one knew that the bad disbongos wine was causing the fevers, many winery workers rebelled because they were forced to keep working to protect the island's economy. In protest, they smashed all the bottles of wine they could find to stop them from being exported. These uprisings only worsened the pandemic. If other similar pools of wine were found, all citizens were urged to report them to the authorities as soon as possible. Do not come close to them. Coming close to the wine without a face covering can cause serious delirium, typical of devil's fevers. So basically, chat, what happened is the entire game was me chasing after a myth, which led to me inhaling the, literally the wine fumes. That's why, like, remember all that wine that was in the sewer when I first got to the island? And remember he was shooting the wine bottles? when he'd see them at the very beginning, that was, I was basically inhaling the entire game, hallucinogenic super wine. That was why I was like seeing shit. That gun guy was the good guy. Though the, pa the paper he wrote makes me think he might've been crazy. That or I hallucinated the paper he wrote and that guy actually shot me because he was surprised and then actually healed me because of that. And everything I'm seeing and saw was me going crazy throughout the whole game, which might make more sense. Uh, in protest, they smashed all the bottles of wine they could find to stop them from being exported. These uprisings only worsen the pandemic. And other similar pools of wine, if other similar pools of wine are found, all citizens are urged to report them to the authorities as soon as possible. Do not come close to them. Coming close to the wine without a face covering can cause serious delirium, typical of devil's fever. Among the most common symptoms are hallucinations, spatial disorientation, obsessive thirst for more wine, mania, and feelings of being chased, and in worst cases, high fever and cardiac arrest. Hallucinations begin minutes after contact with the wine pools. Yep, sounds about right. That sounds about right. Within minutes. Feeling of being chased. I was constantly being chased by a headless monster. To the victims. Pain, weeping, anguish, but also hope. Tribute to the five million dead during the devil's fevers. The survivors will always remember you. This like wiped out the entire city, basically. Chat, for, the, for context, that's like what the story was. Like the entire city got wiped out. Everyone died, basically. In memory, for Marty Vermello, father and last victim of the devil's fever. That is our character. Ha! 
Hello, Dad. It's already been eight years since you passed away, and I'm still not past it. Visiting your grave is a tradition now. This year I met Albert Roig. He told me about how he found you dead, with your hands full of glass from the bottle you smashed yourself with. It's rough, but in a way, knowing how you died brings me peace. I just hope I stop having the nightmares. Albert has become a celebrity. They almost worship him. I feel proud and overwhelmed just to know him. In fact, he left his hat beside the monument to the victims months ago, and nobody's taken it. Sometimes I think about the irony of it all, to be unaffected by the fevers. All we had to do was cover our face like Albert did. Would you be alive today if you had known that one stupid thing before? Anyway, I like having him around. No, Dad, don't worry. You'd like him. When you look past the hero image they paint him with, he's very approachable and considerate. Even so, want to know a little secret? Every day, he's always whistling, and that gets a bit annoying. There had to be one bad thing about him. Don't tell him. It's our secret. Your daughter, who still misses you, another year. The message is pretty on the nose, but I think it's an important message to fucking uh, make and put into a game at this point, especially what I would say one of the best horror games I've played in years, probably. As far as like a total package horror game and story goes, I thought this was awesome. So yeah, pretty fucking good. This was this was really good. I I loved this game. For a dev that has made their other library of games is like an average, like random experimental horror thing and like a relaxing like just atmosphere wandering underwater game thing. This is unbelievable work from this guy. Uh, to anyone that worked on this, this is this is. This is, the, if this is like the start of an anthology of like good horror games, holy shit. That, that is a good fucking start. That is a, that was awesome. And uh, I don't know, the devs did say it was going to take me eight hours to beat. Uh... <laughs> Gamers. <laughs> what did I say, chat? What did I say? Yeah, but the puzzles were bad. Dude, let me tell you one thing about me and horror games and puzzles. Uh, horror games get in the way, when puzzles in horror games get in the way of the story and the atmosphere, and the less fucking, like the point of this one wasn't even that it was scary. The atmosphere in this game was fucking next level. I thought the map design, like de the fucking artistry and like decoration of these maps, Fucking hell, someone should hire this guy. Like, this this is a fucking incredible example of, like, good world design. I love this. This really brought me back to, like, Penumbra. Like, it was very... This was a lot more, like, old-school, old-school amnesia. Like, Penumbra level. And that's that I really liked. And the ending was great, honestly, in my opinion. Like the last letter was a time was a bit on the nose considering the whole time it was very obvious what this game was getting at. But uh I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Um if it had been longer, I would have been fine with that. But I also personally think that the sweet spot for story games is story games like this is three to four hours, and it landed right there. So that is usually a-okay by me, frankly. So yeah. We unlocked photo mode. You can use photo mode to unlock secrets. It also feels like there's parts of the map that I just like missed and like didn't go to. So there might be like story stuff to explore and do, but like, yeah, that game was really good. <laughs> that game was really good. I, I don't, I'm not usually, chat, usually when it comes to horror games, I go in with such a nervous feeling because I'm always afraid that we're going to get like a last, uh, like a white, whatever the fuck, that, that horror game, that one that took place in the school where like you get a really shitty half, like second half. I thought the best part of this game was like going through the slums where like everyone was like dead or dying, like the cannibal slums. I thought that, and that was like pretty much like over halfway. 
I thought the game, it didn't get necessarily better, but it definitely didn't get worse as the game progressed. And the finale I thought was fucking awesome. Not so much like the final chase. I think some of the horror elements could have used some work, but I mean, I'm not gonna pick on that because that wasn't why I was playing it. I was playing it because the map and the world seemed so interesting and like consistently good. I don't mind when a game doesn't have complicated puzzles, frankly. I don't like very many puzzles in my horror games because I think, again, they distract from it. But holy shit, that was amazing. I would recommend that game to any of my friends to stream. What's up, Apricot? What's up? Yeah, you, you whiffed it. You missed it. Uh, and you missed... Oh man, this is this might have been my favorite stream in a long time. I don't know. Fuck. That was good shit. Fuck. I'm gonna like genuinely I don't know how to like describe it because it wasn't it didn't do anything unbelievable, but it was consistently good. And that's hard to fucking pull off in a horror game. To be like consistently as good as this was. And like the perspective stuff, the like switching to the wine realm and shit. I cannot fucking wait for what this person makes next. But holy hell, that bar is gonna be high. And I feel bad for them on that one because my bar, my expectations for the next one is like fucking sky high now. This was, I think this was a solo project or it was like a two person project. It might've been two person. There was a lot of people for like help and consulting in the credits. But I don't think, like, hang on, let me check again. I'm pretty sure it was made by one person. Uh, Carlos Coronado. And then a big team of, like, testers and stuff. Yeah, development and concept, Carlos. Yeah, I mean, his other two games were nothing to write. This is going to sound mean. They weren't anything really to write home about looking at them on Steam. They were both, like, very average things, so... Obviously, this dev put a lot of fucking hard work into making this. That's why it, it's probably why it feels so tight. It's all one vision. Yeah, I wonder how long this took the guy. Because it, like, honestly, chat, the visuals in this game was more impressive than, like, a lot of other games I've played recently because they put so much effort into, like, just like the visuals in general and like not just like the graphics but like the design and the colors and stuff like even like this first shot looks really fucking good this game's fucking beautiful is unreal engine 4 yeah that makes sense but yeah fucking hell so yeah the second that we went here we were already breathing in the wine. Fucking spooky shit, dude. The second we got here, we were already huffing it. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Perfect vintage of wine. Uh, wait, wait, hang on. There is another thing you can do. You can technically do the epilogue without talking to the... Wait, hang on. You cannot sail home. You need to find the bottle of red wine first. Okay, hang on. I want to check one thing. I want to go to the epilogue and see if I can, like, leave when I get there. So I get here and I turn around immediately. You can't go home yet? Leave the letter at the grave first. I wonder if I missed anything. Hang on, I want to run back up to the top quick. Because I went to the grave fast. God, honestly though, chat. Yeah, there's like a there's like a room here as well. It's locked from the other side. There might be something else to see in this place. Um, the motherfucking gun guy shoots the bottle of wine too. Like he wanted you to go crazy. That didn't really happen, chat. My guy was seeing things. So like... He didn't actually, I don't think I was ever being shot by him. I don't think any of that was real. He was a doctor that was in the thing, but I think even the first time we saw him, oh yeah, there is, okay, no, there's a secret thing. There's a door, yeah, okay, so I didn't miss anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just, God, this shot, this shot's fucking good though. This is fucking beautiful. I'm pretty sure these are just like flat textured PNGs of clouds, but they fucking, that is a really, that's like a wallpaper. 
Damn. All right, chat. I'd love to say I'm going to stick around longer, but um, I am not about to play more. Your character probably hallucinates the bottle shot late in the game because it happened early in the sewers. That, chat, it's up for debate if the guy was walking around with a gun. I mean, actually, it makes sense that he'd be walking around with a gun to shoot the bottles because it's not safe to go near it to get rid of the wine. So he, he was shooting it for that reason with, like, a mask on. But, like, I don't think, like, from the letter that is here, it looks like my guy woke up after being tended to by the doctor and then hallucinated a letter saying, I've taken the last bottle of wine, come to the fucking peak and fight me for it. And that was all hallucination. And then it said that he smashed the wine bottle on his own head because he lost it. So, yeah. All right, chat. What a game. Oh, my God. I, I mean, going into this, I was not expecting much. I, holy, ugh. I will be back t tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe. I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know. I'll see. Horror Tales the Astronaut seems nice looking. They're making... Oh, is there already like a list of like what the other ones they're making are? Space Horror is sort of hit and miss with me. I'll have to... I, I bet they'll do it well, but Space Horror is a hard one to do right. Because it's harder to... I don't know, I guess there's a lot more technical crap that needs to go into that. Supposedly releases this December. Wow, they're moving fast. Or they already developed most of the content for all of them. And now they just need to, you know. They, you know what they do need, though? They need someone to uh, check for typos. I think that would probably be a good idea for the next one is uh, hire someone or even just ask a friend to play through it and check for typos. Because the typos were a little distracting. He probably hallucinated the typos. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> ah, it's all in my head from the very beginning. All right, chat. I'm done. I will. I will leave it. I will leave you all in the wine void with that. I'll be back tomorrow, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm streaming tomorrow, but, like, if I come in and I'm like, I'm not doing that, then you know why I didn't do that, okay? I am donezo. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. This was a good time. I'm gonna remember this. Goodbye! Enjoy the wine on your way out in the cut and all oh, the charcuterie board. Ah, yes. Inhale the fumes of the wine. Yes, yes.